Oh my God, back at it again. In the kitchen, but back at it again. What's up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's happening? What's going on? You're back in the lab with your favorite neighbor, your man, Mark Nash. He is I. I am he. Another great episode of Breaking Beats. You already know what it is. It's a hip-hop political sports show with a comedy twist. We like to let them jokes fly. You know why. Life is serious enough, man. Life getting real serious in that lightweight division. And we're going to talk about it on this episode. I'm going to blast the link out there. Get this room populated. Yeah, we back in that vertical mode over here. Because it's upward integration. Upward integration. So, um, yeah, we're going to talk about uh this the, the fight that happened tonight. And we had a good fight earlier today. Joe Joyce is back in the winner's circle. So, congratulations to Joe Joyce. And we're going to talk about his performance and how he looked carrying that 286 pounds. Golly, never hoid of it. it never hoid of it. It's a big-ass dude. So we're going to talk about all of that on this episode. This should be a lot of fun. I'll drop the link out there. And as you see at the top up here, we got the phone lines open. I'm going to have the phone lines open. So we're going to take some of your calls. And, yeah, we're going to have a good time while we're here. I right, your man, Martin Nash. Let's get it. Let's run this intro. Get this room populated. Please share the link if you feel uh feel so. And if not, that's cool, too. But um, we're going to get this party started right now. Not right now, but right now. Let's get it. This is my passion. This is what I love to do. But some days, sometimes, I'm just like you, man. I hate this job. Damn, 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 damn I hate this job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. I'm just like you, like you, like you. Damn, I hate this job. Man, I hate this job. Man, I hate my job. From a good dream, I wake. Sun rays on my face. Plan it out my day, hoping this ain't the one that I catch a case I feel so good, I feel so straight My manager keep calling me, saying hurry up, you late Hurry up, you late, I'll f*** y'all Man, I hate this job, man, man, I hate this job Been trying to play it cool, but it's hard to play it off I've been hanging on to this bush, cause my car still ain't paid off I know I'm on my way up, my boy just got laid off, so f*** Y'all, man, I hate this job. Man, man, I hate this job. These hooks is so ratchet. These hooks is so sneaky. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't even really pay enough for y'all to only pay bi weekly. I'm trying to double up my cash. Take this job, shove it up your ass. Yo, yo, man, I hate this job. Sometimes I wanna say, get walk in and slap my boss. This shit is getting hard. Damn, 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 I hate this job. Gotta make it out of this struggle, bruh. And I don't really mean to take it out on you. You just a customer, but damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, 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 I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. With the reason why your stockholders always stay afloat. Yet I'm asking, are they hiring? Like everywhere I go, schedule will say nine, but I think it's fine. If I clock in at 904, I work 40 hours a week plus overtime just to be bro. So f y'all, man, I hate this job. Hate, hate that I applied. So much has transpired since the day that I was high. Told me I could advance, but you were telling me lies. Gotta give your notice before I quit. But you don't say she right before I'm fired. Damn, man, I hate this job. Sometimes I wanna say, get walk in and slap my boss. This shit is getting hard. Damn, 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 I hate this job. Gotta make it out of this struggle, bruh. And I don't really mean to take it out on you. You just a customer, but damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate uh, this job. You and your procedures. You and your protocol. You and your policies. None that shit don't apply to me. You and your quotas. You and your standards. You and your two sick days a year. Y'all niggas bananas. Wonder why the postman's posted with hammers. Going postal with Popo on camera. His wage got him enraged. Stressed out, it's hard to maintain. He flips the middle. Grabs his. He said, if you don't get the picture, bitch, I quit. You ain't shoot. Mother of man, I hate this job. Sometimes I wanna say, get walk in and slap my boss. This shit is getting hard. Damn, 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 I hate this job. Gotta make it out of this struggle, bruh. And I don't really mean to take it out on you. You just a customer, but damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this 
this job. Uh, damn, I hate this job. Yeah. Damn, I hate my job. Yeah. Damn, I hate this job. Yeah. Man, I hate this job. I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like you. I'm out here trying to take care of my family. Damn, 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 I hate this job. It's not always glamorous, for real. But I do what I gotta do for me and mine, you know? Damn, so damn, 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 I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this job. Damn, I hate my job. Damn, I hate this 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 job. Damn, The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers, commentators, experts, and or the hosts. They do not explicitly nor necessarily reflect nor represent the channel's policy or the views held by the channel or broadcaster. The broadcaster or its channel cannot be held accountable for all or any views expressed during the program. Basically, if I didn't say it, don't come for me. You come for the person who said it. And please don't sue me for somebody else's words. With that said, let's start the show, mother... Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Turn that shit down a little bit. I'm a little too, I'm a little too hype for for it to be 12:30 on the East Coast. But y'all already know what it is. You're back in the lab with your favorite neighbor, your man Mark Nash. He is I. I am he. Another great episode of breaking these moon mm, mm, beats. Hey man, we're gonna have a good time while we here, man. So excited about this episode. It's a couple things we gotta unpack, man. And I'm happy to be here with you guys. And ladies to talk about this beautiful ugly man y'all already know it's the beautiful sport of boxing beautiful sport ugly business but speaking of business williams are paid up. went in there and got busy busy what uh, my boy used Williams are paid to put put the beats on Hughes, man, as many of us had projected and expected. The odds maker, shout out to homie who was on the show last night on freeze, freezing boxing. Um, he was talking about odds uh, a lot, but I'm telling you, man, the odds makers definitely got it right with this one because <sighs> he stood no chance. It looked like a man against a boy at times in there, and I say that very respectfully to uh to uh, mr hughes maxi hughes I, as many y'all know i had maxi hughes beating um cambosis i thought he won that fight i thought he got robbed I thought he got robbed but um he put the division on notice hence the title uh of this uh hence the tag of this blah, 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 the thumbnail hence the thumbnail of this episode so we're gonna talk about it on this episode man he gave him the works Oh, he did what he wanted to do in there. Shout out to everybody who's here early. Shout out to my homie, that guy Clips 330 early. He says, um, you just became a member, okay? Clips been a member, so I guess he switched from Patreon to the YouTube membership. It's all good. Um, Drumming for Life. He said, uh, Mighty Mighty Martin. Shout out to Clips, too. This is brand right here I'm wearing right here. You know what I'm saying? He support me, so I support him as well. So um, I had the hoodie and the hat on yesterday. But today I just got the head on. So shout out to everybody who's here early. That guy clips 330. 
um drumming for life al money was popping haplo let's go i'm gonna drop the link out there too i want y'all to take on this the title is just the title get people triggered i know i do it on purpose um some people won't even listen to the episode they're like will shakur and tank davis loma duck hell no nigga. get the type and i'm like yo you gotta relax you gotta relax b um he said can i get a hat clips what you need a hat for, a hat blow? Why are you trying to? No, nigga, I, I'm the only one in the world that can get the hat. No, of course, of course you can get the, get a hat. Um, I'm gonna drop the link out there. As as I told y'all yesterday, with this vertical mode, I don't know why they haven't figured it out yet. But vertical mode is only letting people click the link on their desktop. So if you want the link and you are on a phone, just reach out to me, and um, and I'll just send you the link send it direct to you either text or twitter ig i find a way or email i find a way to get it to you but if you are on a phone you yeah you might have to call in if you don't or if you don't have a desktop or if you don't have a way for me to reach out to you so let's talk about it you plug this phone line in let's talk about it he went in there and gave maxi hughes the beats matter of fact let's rewind a little bit did y'all see the floyd schofield fight What's my homie name? Uh, Soraya. Soraya was looking for a way out. He was looking for a way out. He wanted no parts of Floyd Schofield. I saw a homie do a Muay Thai takedown. Well, or a hip toss. He did a hip toss. Picked him up, did a hip toss. Hit him behind the head. Gave him a couple low blows. I'm like, damn. What's next? You gonna bite him? I mean, it was it was bad. It was bad. Uh Floyd Schofield won every round, but cuts and bruises all over his face due to all the fouls from the opponent. So that was crazy. That was crazy. Um, he said, sure, hit me up on <laughs> on Telegram. Uh Heplo said, Can you get a hat? Absolutely. Drumming for life. What up? Shout out to Q to God. Lost art of boxing. He said, What's good, broski? Man, just talking about this beautiful sport, man, and the fights that went down today. So the question of the hour is, will Shakur Stevenson, Tank Davis, or Loma get his guy a shot? I could have said that in the title, but I figured Duck would get y'all mad a little bit. I like to make y'all mad a little bit. You got to give this. This guy is special, man. Got a gas tank, punch placement, precision, and he just pause just kept coming double pause but i don't know if he's gonna get a shot at one of these top guys unfortunately because he's high risk low reward we've been saying this for a while high risk low reward let me share the screen so y'all know what i mean when i say these things let's share it let's share it let's share it all right so vasil lomachenko they said uh according let's rewind they said William Zapata is now the number one in two sanctioning bodies. That's the winner of uh, Davis versus Martin, as well as Cambosis versus um, Lomachenko. However, when they asked him in the ring who he wanted to see next, he skipped over them and went straight to Shakur Stevenson. I like that. I mean, Shakur got that WBC. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Now, Shakur Stevenson been active on twitter tonight he's been very active let's see what the homie had to say let's see what this is about an hour or so ago let's rewind because he was it he was going in on um he was definitely going in on the on the youngin floyd schofield was floyd schofield when it ain't got busy you can't you can't take that from it it's not his fault that the opponent came in there on some bullshit. you know what i'm saying all the dirty files and stuff he said, the question is, wish, pull up, Q, pull up. He said, the question is, will Golden Boy Promotions make the scope? No, why, Q, why would they do that? Q to God, why would they put Schofield in there against Zapata? That, that would be going backwards for Zapata. Definitely be going backwards. He is the number one guy in line for a title shot. Why would he go back? and fight a prospect it's title or nothing right now for zapata he ain't getting no younger 
He ain't getting no younger. Shout out to the homie Jules Gaming Lounge. What up, though? He ain't getting no younger. I don't know if y'all can read this, but it says a couple things. Let's let's rewind a little bit. He said, <laughs> here we go. He said, somebody said, Shakur sparring to pay the truth. Williams reveals truth on sparring. He said, laugh a lot. I actually got a clip on, of it on my phone, but I'm not going to drop it because it don't matter for real, for real. Um, somebody said, so are you open to fighting him if he beats Maxi Hughes? He said, yes, I am. Machine versus an elite, highly skilled fighter. Sounds like fun fight to me. So, um, so he said, but if I stop Shakur, what y'all going to say? He a hibachi chef too? So the hate, the hate be real. The hate be real. What's up, Clips? Were you able to click the link? Click the link um, through your phone? Your mic's muted, bro. Clips, your mic's muted, bro. Clipper. All right, we'll come back to him. Uh, he said, do me a big favor and hit that like button. I appreciate it, Jules. Um, he said, I'm blessed and grateful. How are you? Okay. But yeah, Q, I, gotta, I, I don't see no reason for them to put uh, Zepeda in there with Schofield. That's going backwards find a prospect but you're more than entitled to your opinion phone lines are open and the link is out there if you want to join the conversation let me say this again let me um, say so this what, again um, yeah. so what, i got a double clips i got a double clips i got a double you got a double sir i got a double i can't i got myself. a double i can't hear myself uh, uh i gotta mute let me let me uh i'll mute it real quick i'll mute it real quick let me try to mute it real quick let me try to add this echo cancellation add this echo cancellation Check one, check two. All right. Check one, check two. All right. You good? Oh, uh, yeah. You even, your audio even came in better. Um, just real quickly, I was able to hit the link and everything, uh, but I had to change the settings. That's why I couldn't talk. I had to change the settings and stuff like that. So, yeah, there is something going on with StreamYard, but it's all good. Okay. So, they can't click the link in the chat now. Cool. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, you do have a double whenever you're unmuted. And I'm talking, it's coming in twice through your phone, through your line, Paul. So, I right, but look, he said, so, um, he said, uh, if I stop Cepeda, what y'all going to say? He was a hibachi chef. Then he continues on. He said, damn, I re he's trying to get the fight at 140 against Haney. He said, damn, I reached out to Bill, didn't get no reply Um, because Boxing Kingdom. He said, I'm expecting Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia to be called off this week. I'm sure Team Haney are actively speaking to back up opponents. I mean, they, the backup opponent was at the press conference, Barbosa. Um, but we'll get to that later. Did you see Williams and Pay to go in there and destroy Maxie Hughes in what, like four rounds today? Yeah, I, I, I was in and out, so I saw the highlights. And it's so crazy when they show highlights for a fight, and I know it was only four rounds, but I think the only thing that looked good with Maxi Hughes was his ring walk. And like me, like you, it was like, I thought highly of Maxi Hughes. So I was impressed by that. Like, man, you bro didn't even get a highlight. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have a good moment that y'all felt like showing. Wow. Well, to be fair, um, let me, let me correct that. I didn't think quote unquote highly of Maxi Hughes. I expected Maxi Hughes to get beat up. Unfortunately, but I did think he beat George Cambosis convincingly fair and square and they robbed him. But um I expected him to go in there and get beat up. But what 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 was this? Um four? Was it was it in four? Yeah, I something, believe it was four. Something like that. He, he lost like that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just agreeing with you. I think it was four. And yeah, that's my point. It wasn't like I was highly on him, but after that Cambosis fight, which I thought he had won, you know, I don't really see, you know, like, okay, I don't see him beating Zapata, but I didn't think he'd go in there and just get dog walked that way. Yeah, he definitely uh, got walked. Um, got walked. <sighs> got, got his ass kicked, bro. And I feel bad for um, for uh, Max Hughes because beatings like that, guys usually retire after that. Or and start rethinking their life. You like, you know what? Thought I was gonna be a, a world champion again. I think I wanna um teach kindergarten. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? You start rethinking your life after a beating like that. He took a beating, bro. It was times where I was like, I think they should have stopped it in the third round. I was like, why did they even send him back out there? I mean, it was it was bad. But um, my, my question is, uh, I know you said you saw the highlights. You didn't see the whole thing. Do you, How do you see a guy like Shakur, Tank Davis, or Lomas, Loma uh, favoring against Zepeda? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll go in reverse. Loma, I think, would be a very entertaining fight. Um, Tank will be good until Tank actually starts connecting. But if Loma could get if Loma could get that momentum going, will Tank get a chance to connect before? I mean, I'm scared. Um, if Zapata gets that momentum going, will Tank be able to land that shot before Zapata gets his shit off? That's what I'd be interested to see in a, a Tank versus uh, Zapata fight. And now, as far as Shakur Stevenson, I think that is very dangerous for Shakur Stevenson, who's a little too defensive minded. He sometimes waits for the opponent to go first. And as we've now seen in several fights for Zapata, when that boy gets to going, he's gone. So I, I still I still would favor Shakur. But I think that um, that um, Zapata is a bigger danger to Shakur Stevens than Loma or Tay. Um, you think you said Zapata is a bigger challenge than Loma or Tay? Challenge than Loma or Tay. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Zapata uh, can challenge. Zapata can possibly go in there and beat Shakur. Um, in my opinion, just because how Shakur is so defensive minded, he might go in there and spend some rounds waiting to answer what Zapata is doing and. Like I said, I only saw the highlights of this fight, but what I know of Zapata, if Zapata starts going, well, then it'll be hard for Shakur to try to get off that back foot. Mm, I kind of disagree with you on this one because I think a guy like Zapata is exactly what Shakur needs. He needs a guy who's going to press the action, come towards him, and press the fight because Shakur is a sharpshooter. He's a shark. He's a sniper. And he needs... Um, yep, um, My mic's muted. There we go. It's going to be Southpaw against Southpaw. Do you think that's going to be the determining factor, or do you think that's not going to make a difference at all? I, I have too much respect for Shakur's skills to act like fighting another Southpaw would be uh, like a huge uh, mountain for him to climb. My only thing is, like you said, um, Shakur is a sniper. He's, you know, say he's going to try to sit there and try to make allow Zapata to make a mistake. And just what I'm seeing is you know and what we you know what i saw from the highlights in this uh recent fight with hughes is that zapata's getting better at controlling his momentum to where like i said if he gets started if he starts finding some success in his aggression i i could see him even if he's getting his ass he's so game i could see him getting pieced up and countered by shakur but still coming forward and keeping shakur on that back foot yeah <sighs> But Shakur can fight off that back foot. I don't think that's going to be an issue, though. That's just me. You know? I mean, yes, he could definitely no. could. I, like I said, I still see Shakur winning, but I just see it being more difficult or maybe one of them fights where, you know, everyone's like, oh, Shakur, you almost lost. Oh, that was a close one, Shakur. And you know what Shakur's um, performances of late, you know, I could see Shakur not wanting to do that and probably getting suckered into getting away from his game plan if he looks up and it's round five, round six, and he says, yeah, I have spent a lot of time on the back foot. Let me try to come forward and change the momentum. And that's your core success. He knows his identity, and he doesn't stray from it. But I think a game fighter like Zapata might be able to talk him out of, out of his game plan, fight him out of his game plan. But here's the thing, too. Will he be able to get a fight against a Shakur, uh, a Tank, or a Loma? You know, because he's high risk, low reward, doesn't have a lot of, you know, a lot of people don't know him. You know? And that, that, that is also a huge obstacle for William. 
Um, I think of those three, Loma would probably be the most who would be like, you know what, fuck it. I ain't ducking no smoke and to prove that Loma is still a relevant and still um, a viable name in the division, in the sport. I could see Loma being like, oh, y'all scared of him? I'll fight him. Yeah, most likely I could probably see Loma being the one to fight him before Tanko Shakur, unfortunately. And I can see him beating Loma. I can definitely see him beating Loma. And I don't know. I don't know how that pressure is, how Tank and uh, Shakur is going to deal with that pressure. I think they can beat him. I think his style is pretty much made for guys like the guys who are, you know, sharpshooter, very precise with that punch placement, speed, accuracy, but also that foot movement. But you can't win a fight against a guy like Zapata just on that back, biking on the back foot, fighting on the back foot and on your bike all night. You, you're going to have to crack this dude. You're going to have to punch with him punch you know punch in between his shots you can't just just let him keep coming forward and doing what he want to do you're gonna have to tie him up spin him around you know go have to frustrate him you're gonna have to frustrate him for a while in my opinion what say you what say you no i agree with that and like i once again i have no doubt that your core has that in him my only question is will he will he consciously make that choice to do that or will he look up and a couple rounds into the fight, he finds himself in a situation where he feels like he has to do that. If he feels like he has to do that and is more forced to come forward, then there's a better chance for Zapata. You know, like I said, Shakur is all about staying within his identity. And I do, uh, I'm the one thing that I do worry about him is that when you are so married to your comfort zone, you can get pulled out of it and the fighter is not necessarily a better fighter, but because it's new territory for you, you're opening up new holes to your game that maybe you're not even aware that you have because you're not used to fighting like that. Um, I know you said you only saw the highlights, but so if you can't answer this, that's fine. Definitely want somebody to call in and, or either click the link and let me know. What did you guys see? Even though it was a short fight, did you guys see any, Anything that these other three fighters could take advantage of, Tank Davis, Lomachenko, Shakur Stevenson, did they see did you guys see any holes in the offense or defense of Williams or Peter? Let me do this uh super chat. Shout out to my brother Drummond for life. For life. I got, I got, I got five on it, five on it. Thanks for supporting the show in a major way. Oh, yeah, it is St. Patty's Day. Is it, was, is it St. Patrick's Day? I don't know. Is it St. Patrick's Day weekend? When is St. Patrick's Day? I don't know. Um, 17th, uh, I believe. You know, 404 Boxing said, uh, the question is, will Team Zapata accept the fight this time? They turned down the WBC Eliminator versus Shakur, then hopped in the WBA and IBF. Did they? I got to fact check that, d -Lo. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. Not sure about that. Shout out to my guy D Ray live on the drive. Um, I'm not sure about that. I've heard some people mention that before, but I'm not sure. Like everybody who talked to me about it, they couldn't fact check that. Cause uh I think I was talking to Shelton the other day and he was like, Yeah, he was supposed to fight Shakur for the WBC. I was like, nah, it was Haney who uh gave up the belts, moved up to 140. Next up on that list was Loma. Then it was Pitbull Cruz. Two, then number three was he just went down the line. It was like Loma, Pitbull. Fuck, I'm missing somebody. Damn, I'm missing somebody. It was Loma, Pitbull. I just know he went down the I just line. Know he went down. And and by the time we got to Edward De Los Santos, that was it was the next man in order. He said, uh, go ahead. I wouldn't waste the keystrokes telling the lie. I didn't say you're a liar, my brother. I didn't. I, I would never say that to you. I didn't say that. He said, uh, I spoke on it when it happened. Okay, I need to find your video. Let me own, reference your video. I'm going to try to find your video. But uh, go ahead, Clips. What you about to say? Oh, uh, no. I was, uh, I was agreeing with you just with the caveat that, um, you know, yeah, you're right. Loma will probably, Loma was probably more, more likely to do it. And um, 
with the whole high risk, high, um, with the whole high risk, whatever. Um, I could see if he doesn't get Loma I, um, and Shakur. Yes, um, that 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 was a fight that already could have happened that didn't happen. Uh, Tank, you know, Tank's very selective with who he fights. So I wouldn't be surprised if he sits down a little longer and ends up having to ends up going against a. Um, well, now nah, Roly Eyes at Cruiser in another division now, right? Yeah, they, yeah, they want. Yeah, they, yeah, they want four. You got to mute. Okay, yeah. So I don't. Yeah, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know why your audio doing that. Um, but you got to mute in between. Um, just so so we don't everybody don't hear me twice. It's like your mic is super great. It's waking me up twice. Um, caller three two three. You on the MIC? Tell me your name. Where you from, dog? It's your boy, man. What's happening, brother? What's up, man? What's up, OG Shelmore? Hey, man, look. That's a painter, man. He's a problem. <laughs> He's a problem. I haven't seen him in there with anybody that can punch yet, though. I'm going to see somebody, see him in there with somebody that can actually hit him and then back him up a little bit. But if you ain't got no pop, he is a problem. He is a problem. That boy for a million punches. Go ahead, go ahead. What did you think of the fight? Uh, no. or, oh, was, or, you? or was this as expected? Oh, it was as expected. Yeah, it was as expected. I mean, Mackie Hughes didn't keep up with the output. You saw that starting in round two. Round one, Mackie Hughes tried his best, but round two, he was gassed. And the Panthers just kept getting throwing more punches and more punches and more punches. And that's his MO. That's what he, that's what he did to JoJo. That's what he did to the Filipino guy. That's what he does. He's going to throw 100 punches around. And if you can't keep up with the volume, you better be able to hurt him. And if you can't hurt him or keep up with the volume, this is what's going to happen to you. Um, He's number one uh, in two sanctioning bodies. The WBA and the IBF. Okay. IBF. That's... Uh... That, that title's vacant. I think, no, I think, isn't that the belt that Loma, is that the belt Loma? No, Loma, Loma and uh, you know, both is the fight for the WBO. WBO, okay, check that. <laughs> All right, so so yeah. he, so he's number one in the WBO and the WBA then. Okay, well, he gets the winner of uh, Loma Cambosis or he gets uh, the winner of Tank and uh, Martin. Which, which one do you think is more likely and... And how does he fare uh, with either of those guys? Because chances are it's going to be Tank and and Loma. I think he can. He's got a chance against. He got a better chance against Loma than Tank because I don't think Loma has the pop to keep him off or can keep up with the volume at this stage in his career. Whereas Tank definitely can't keep up with the volume, but Tank hits like a brick, so Tank can hurt him and back him up. You see what I'm saying? He's got a good chance to get even. I think he beats Loma, and I think Tank beats him. Yeah, I got, I got him, I got him, I got Tank, I got um, I got him beating Loma because Loma just is just okay. So okay, D'Lo said I was right. It is Loma and Cambosis is for the IBF. Oh, for so the IBF. Oh, cool. Okay. So the WBO is vacant. Should be. Okay. Should be. Um, yeah, so the WBC is Shakur. The WBA is Tank. Loma and Campos is fighting for the IBO, and the WBO is vacant. Okay, got it. Hey, D-Lo, which, which video is it on your channel? Is it the one that says... Update on Devin Haney. Devin signed a contract. Haney versus Shakur signed a contract. Stevenson, is that the video? Because other than that, I don't see a Zapata video up here. Scrolling through. Let me know. Let me know. Um. So 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 that's where we at with it. Um. I I for one, I don't really see him getting a shot at with either of these guys right now. I'm sorry. High risk, low reward. The only one, maybe Shakur Stevenson, because I really think he believes in himself and he needs a guy like this to bring the fight to him for him to look his best. You get what I'm saying? 
You got to press him. I don't know if Shakur can keep up with the output, though. I think he might beat Shakur as well. I don't know if Shakur can keep up with a guy that throws 100 punches around. I just don't know if he can do it. And and to what to that point right there, Sheldon, that was my point earlier. I still think Shakur can beat him. Um, but I just wonder with that pressure coming, you know what I'm saying? With that pressure coming, is that gonna be like what Mark the reason why Mark wants to fight? This is something that we wanna see Shakur face against. And since we haven't seen it, yeah. I have yeah. to express concern until I see how he handles it. Right. Exactly. You hit the nail right on the head, buddy. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it. So it's not like I'm, uh, I was 100% disagreeing with Mark, but I just really think that, you know, the Loma fight, I could see that Loma fight being competitive. Zapata with a chance to win. I think Tank and uh, Zapata would look good until Tank actually lands something. And I think Shakur, I think it's going to be very possible that Zapata's going to pull something out of Shakur that we haven't seen yet. Or he's going to show us a big flaw in Shakur's uh, game. That's the only way I see it. Yeah, Shakur it's, wins, it's, but it's, Shakur it's, wins by digging deep. Hey, Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon. You gotta. You, yeah. you can't cut him off because, like, he something's okay, going he, on with his he, mic. His something, audio, yeah. Yeah, something going on his mic. So if you cut yeah, him off, yeah. it start doubling crazy. Um. So go go ahead. Finish. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yeah. No, I was just saying. Um. If if Shakur wins, it's because he he um he showed us something that he hasn't showed us yet. And if Shakur gets upset, it'll just be like, yeah, this man couldn't handle like you said that pressure. It's not about he's staying on the back foot, but Zapata throws how many punches around? Come on, hundred, hundred. Go ahead, show. Uh, I'm saying that's the thing. Uh, we got to find out. He said something real telling. He said maybe he pulled something out of Shakur that we haven't seen. And that's, in my opinion, that's the only way Shakur is going to beat the Pater is he has to go to a level that we haven't seen in that before. Because he hasn't fought any anybody close to the output that the Pater has. Never. He's never fought anybody like that. And I wouldn't say that if I hadn't seen Zapata throw 100 punches around against everybody. It's not just the last three, four fights. It's against everybody. He constantly does it. So I don't know if Shakur can handle that because I don't think he got the pop to keep that guy off. I just don't. But we'll find out. And that was a great point right there, Shelton. All right. I only got the highlights of what happened tonight. But, you know, we've been paying attention to Zapata for a minute now. And it's not like, oh, he just shows out because Matt Hughes stayed in front of him. No, this motherfucker throws 100 plus punches against anybody. We got to keep that in mind. Yeah, he's the epitome of all gas, no work. Okay. All right, so and um, I I just don't I don't know how I see this fight going, man. I, I just don't see it happening. Uh, D'Lo, I see the clip you uh, see the article you sent me, but I, man, I just got so many questions. But um, it's probably too many for me to ask and wait for you to type. You know what I'm saying? So I'll just move on for now. But uh, or unless you could call in, he says um, but he had said something about like talking about Zapata had ducked. Uh, Shakur in the title eliminated. This is something you and I was talking about, Sheldon. Like, but the article he sent me is from like 2022. Um, November 2022. Shakur fought for the title and last did he fight this year or last year? He fought this year. When did he fight for the title? This year? Last year. In the last year. In the last year. Okay. So he fought for the title in the last yeah. year. It's just, I don't know, it's confusing. Because he says no, it's not confusing. Go ahead. It's not confusing. Uh, he calls the Peter out, and the Peter team sent back the message. No, we don't want the fight. She's gonna run. That's what they said. He's gonna run. They don't want the fight with Shakur. But now they do. 
But yeah, because but th- it wasn't for a title. They need this was a title eliminator. Right. This article. That's the difference. Right right in front of the team. That's the difference. You're right. Shakur didn't have a title at that time. Now he does. I got you. Yeah, I need to look at this box right. But um, what y'all think about what Bo Mag had to say? Bo Mag said, "Hey, look, all that Crawford uh fighting uh." Uh, homie was fake news. Let me play this clip right here and we can react to it. Uh, this is courtesy of Fight Hub TV. Shout out to Marcos Villegas. Uh, let's react. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Canelo versus Miguel. Break it down. Canelo's gonna stop him. He's gonna stop him? Yeah, stop him. Yeah, how, how quickly? I say in 10. In 10 rounds? Yeah, in 10. Okay, that's a de- decent yeah, fight. Yeah, 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 decent fight. It's a decent fight, but yeah. Miguel ain't ready for that level yet. Mm-hmm. He ain't been on that level yet. All right. Uh, you told me yesterday, fake news. Uh, it's, fake, it's fake news. Uh, you're referring to uh, you, you said you said it. You said it. It's fake news. Yeah, Terrence versus Chris. Fake yeah, fake news. Fake news. No. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Approach no offer. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Hey, fake news. So uh, just quickly, I know you got a fight going on. When is Terrence coming back? Oh, uh, no, he got back? the PGA tour next. What do you mean? He's golfing? Now? Yeah, he's a golfer. I told that. I told him in the last interview. No, yeah. I, I didn't know. This is news yeah. to me. Yeah, I Wait, told him. I told him. He's, he's golfing now. No more boxing. No, he's definitely going to box him, but he just, he's on the tour. Is that a joke or is that real? Is that a real, is that a real thing? I think it's 50-50. Uh, Cliz, let me, uh, that, these, this, it was a rhetorical question, bro. Um, wow. Is it a real thing? Tour. He, he on, he on tour. This nigga say he about to play golf in the PGA tour. Like, I know he's gonna come back to boxing. Probably will. Yeah, I didn't know this. They got yeah. in the PGA tour. Talk about playing a pro am. Okay, well, let's see it. Yeah, I told him. I told him. He's, he's golfing now. No more boxing? No, he's definitely going to box him, yeah. but he's just, he's on the tour. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm starting to believe Bo Man. He sounds serious. He's on tour. He, he, he's on tour. Oh, you think that's what he'll face off with Canelo right there? Golf? Uh, after after this golf, he that's what he probably won is Canelo. All right, Bo Mack. Thank you. How does that fight go down, in your opinion? What fight? Uh, how does Terrence match up with Canelo? Uh, Bud beat his ass. Woo, shots fired. Bud beats his ass. Fired! Shots fired! Now, and as he's supposed to say, he is the trainer. He is supposed to say, yeah, my guy will beat your guy ass. He's supposed to say that. How, though? How does that look? I'll box his ass. Just I'll box him and shit. What about the weight, though? It don't matter. Bud been fighting big people all day, all his fucking life. Yeah. Yeah. What about the head movement, Bo Mack? What? All those feigned head movements. That's what I'm there for. That's what the soul there for. Mm-hmm. That's what Red there for. Coaching. You know what I'm saying? It's called coaches. Yeah. You said we ain't worry about no head movement. So we can get past that shit. And the power. Don't worry about no power. Yeah. We're not to roll with punches. We're not to take power. You can take your power away from. How you take a power punch or take, take power away from a punch? Let's know. What you say? Step two. Uh, yeah, that's one way. One way. You take power away. Step two. That's one way. Smother that word. I know Andre Ward did that very well with Kovalev and um in those fights. You know, stayed in close. You sound muffled, bro. Well, I'll leave you, the food. you sound muffled, bro. Say it again. Me? Yeah, you sound like the phone is I lame. Can... I'm right here. There you go. That's so just like I'll leave you in the phone. Just like I I'll leave you in the phone. Step two. Okay. Listen to what Bo, listen to what Bo said. No, I ain't gonna tell you. Ali didn't step the foreman. He leaned back and on the ropes on foreman, bro. He didn't walk him down. If you watch the fight, the first, the first round, the first punch, he stepped right to him, popped him right in the face. Yeah, he popped him in the face, but he didn't walk him down that whole fight, bro. He he laid he laid. Oh no, he didn't walk him down. No, no, he let him go. Let him get tired. And once he got tired, he wore his ass out. <laughs> you should know. Slide off. Don't take something off. That's one of them. Jab. Shit. Timey. Right. Tommy, how how dominant do you? Both said we're gonna time him. We got his timing. What you think, Clips? There it is. Um. Well, I... Clips dropped off. We'll come back to him. 
So he would look in that fight. Well, oh, it, 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 it'd be uh, Errol Spence and Crawford too. Over again. Yeah. What did you think? When wow, did you hear that? Did what did you say? Errol Spence Crawford too? He said no. Yeah, I heard it's that. It's going to look cool. like Errol Spence Crawford too. Listen to it again, y'all. Tommy, how how dominant do you feel he would look in that fight? Oh, it, 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 it'd be uh, Errol Spence and Crawford too. Over again. Yeah. What did you think when Canelo said he just didn't think there was nothing in it for him? I mean, I, I, I mean, I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because you get beat by the smaller man, now you look like an asshole. Wow. What do y'all think of that? Y'all let me know in the chat. Shout out to the homie Big Hover for uh, renewing the membership. Appreciate it. Um, shout out to Lisa Bells. I see you, D-Ray on the drive. Big Hover, d 44 Boxing. He said, I don't think it's a PGA tour because he said something different last time, something in Florida, but maybe, but maybe so. Okay. Um, he said, Vomack said it's going to look like Canelo. I'm sorry, it's going to look like Spence Crawford, too. Uh, what do you say today, uh, Sean? Uh, it could if uh, Bud can find a way to negate his power because he can't box with Bud. Bud is definitely outboxing. Bud definitely has better footwork. The only thing, the only advantage Canelo has over Bud is power. If Bud can neutralize the power, Canelo ain't got no shot. The question is, can he neutralize it, though? That's the question. What about that beard, though? Something better. You, you ain't got to knock him out. You just got to not get knocked out and I'll watch him. You ain't got to knock him out. You know what I'm saying? I seen Canelo get hit by guys like Triple G. Never wobbled, mm -hmm. never fo never bent, bu budged him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Did Floyd wobble him? Huh? Did Floyd wobble him? Floyd frustrated him and made him go to them ropes and did, sit did, and did, think. You know that's what I'm going to ask you. Why did Floyd wobble Nah. Well, Floyd whooped his ass, though, right? Yeah, but Crawford gets hit What's more. That, than, same thing? Nah, but Crawford gets hit more. Than, no, it's not the same thing. They got two different styles, bro. No, what I'm saying is, I don't think Crawford would get hit that much by Canelo. Canelo. Doesn't have to reach on Bud. Canelo cannot box as well as Bud. He doesn't have the skill set Bud has. He doesn't have the footwork Bud has. The only advantage Canelo has over Bud is the power. That's it. Crawford does everything better than Canelo, except for the power. Everything. And if Crawford can find a way to neutralize the power, everything. Everything. He is not a better boxer than Crawford. No way, no shape, no how. And if Crawford can neutralize the power, he has no shot. What about that championship experience? Don't don't Canelo check Crawford that out. Crawford's been 18 plus. Crawford is 19 and 0 in title fights. 19 and 0 in title fights. Okay. My boy, uh, Delo404, he said, uh, Link, OG. Uh, man, I sent it to you, uh, Link on IG. Yeah, I sent it to you. I sent you the link on IG. Mm -hmm. I sent it to you. I mean, you can stop me any time, though, when I'm telling you something that you don't agree with. Uh, that beard, though. I'll give you the $2. You give him the $2. All right, pay him the $2. Oh, pay the $2. A beard, man. Like Canelo got a chin, man. And I think he's better. And, I, oh, and he's better now than he was when he fought Mayweather. Do you agree or disagree? Nah, I think he's slower now. Older. I, th I think he's improved. No, I don't think, he's, I think he's improved. I don't think. So. I don't think so. But you didn't see. Thing. You didn't like see I it in the Triple G fights. You didn't. You you didn't see. Nah. It. No, because he lost that first fight. He got his ass whooped the first fight. What? It never heard of it. Yeah, he got his ass whooped. he beat Triple G. You look at that fight. He, he beat oh, all no, three he fights. Not. not in the first fight. No, no, no. no. All three he fights. In the first fight. I don't care what Chompy Box or the Jeffrey said. He did not win that first fight. 
all three fights. He did not win that fight. All that was three in the fights. Should have been no drug. All Triple three G, fights. Triple G should have won the first fight. 8-4 at the worst. 9-3. That was nine, really three? what happened. Nigga, what fight? The first nine, fight? Three. What round? What fight was you watching? You know, what you do? What you do? This is what you do. I want you to turn the sound all the way down, pull that fight up, and watch it. No sound. Just oh my watch. God! So what you say? So what you trying to say, my G? What you trying to say? I'm telling you. You trying to say I got swayed fight, by the commentary? You, I don't know what happened to you, but if you saw that first fight <laughs> and you saw Canelo won, you tripped. It. Now the second fight, he beat the shit out of Triple G. He whooped his ass in the second fight. He whooped his ass in the third fight. From the first fight, he lost. He lost that fight. Yeah, there's some Canelo hate going on right here. You and Canelo hate? It's the truth. You, you a he hater. Lost. You a hater. You okay. a hater. Well, I'll be that. Hater. I hate her. I hate her. I yeah. hate her. If I mean no more. You I'll will respect. That. You will I'll respect this that. red hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you lost that first fight, bro. Nah, you bugging, nigga. You bugging, nigga. I thought Canelo lost the first fight, but it was seven five, bro. It was a close fight. It was a close Very fight. Close fight. Could have went either way. It wasn't but, close. But it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. No, it was I wasn't. Canelo's head movement was really good. Everybody, that fight, everybody, though, still. Everybody, 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 everybody. And, and to say Canelo didn't improve since Mayweather, let you know that you're coming from a position of hey, uh, lay on the you ground, know, you've been, been robbed. You've been robbed. Okay. That's what Since, it was. Okay, so here's hey. what you did. I want you to ask me this. What? Since the Mayweather fight, since the Mayweather fight, who has he fought that was on that level? Since the Mayweather fight. That, that's a dumbass question. We know that nobody was on Mayweather's level. That was the best of the generation, bro. To ask that question yeah. and try to validate you saying he has no improvement is ridiculous. Oh, no, no, I'm just asking you. Because them other dudes wasn't really that good. Oh, my God. They ain't that good. Do you hear yourself to say Canelo has not improved since the Mayweather fight? You, that, that, it's probably that. Triple G. That's probably the best guy fought. You know, Mayweather's don't grow old trees, bro. Facts. They don't grow old trees. Facts. I ain't heard about Mayweather growing old trees. I said the best guy he fought since Mayweather was probably Triple G, is what I said. But, but you, but. Oh, boy. I don't think I can have this conversation with you. To say he has not improved I, since I, the Mayweather I, fight, yeah, do you hear funny. yourself? This, he has not improved at all since Mayweather but, fight. Wow. No, not to me. Come, and to me, is that three his punch out put his went down? Now he loads up and looks for one shot. No, he hasn't gotten better. No. No, but to say he never got better from since the Mayweather fight. He started moving his head a little more, started moving to upper body movement. Yeah. And he really improved <laughs> on punch out put punch oh, punch. You don't like Canelo, I can obviously. <laughs> I have no opinion on Canelo. I mean, he's a great fighter. No, no, no. You know, no. You're past not a fan of Canelo. You dislike Canelo. Borderline. I hate the redhead. <laughs> I don't care. About I don't worry about that dude. I'm not. I'm not involved with any of these guys. You know, the best guy out there right now, in my opinion, is Crawford. The rest of these guys are okay. <laughs> uh, a new way fire. Don't be telling me a new way no okay. A new way a whole lot better than okay. A whole lot better than okay. Um, I don't watch guys that weigh 120 pounds. I ain't. Yeah, well, at least you admit it, because you know how many guys in, in America be trying to have an opinion about him and don't even watch the, watch the lower weight classes. So I respect yeah. the fact that you admit that. Yeah, that's, that's what I've been saying the whole time about yeah. American fans. And yeah, if, it's not, if it's not 126 or above, I probably ain't gonna watch it. That's ridiculous. So you're missing out on a lot of great fights, bro. A lot. I mean, there's certain guys I watch. You don't watch Chocolatito. I like him. Well, if you like Chocolatito, you should love Anuwe. Because Anuwe is going to be better than Chocolatito when it's all said and done. Well, we'll Chocolatito see. was fire. We'll see who he fights next. Who's he fighting? Who's he playing on he fight? Fight, he fight Luis Neri. Oh, uh, yeah. Luis Neri just got knocked out a couple months ago. Uh, it wasn't no couple months ago. It was a lot longer than a couple months ago, bro. And that's it. And that's and the thing is, that's it. he's gonna fight. He got. He's gonna fight every mandatory. Every person that's in line for those belts, he just won. He's fighting them all. And Luis Neri's the first one. 
I'm looking forward to the to, to Goodman though. That's the one I'm looking forward to. He's probably gonna fight MJ uh-huh. next. Goodman. Oh, MJ never just came back and broke a hand and just lost to the other guy? MJ the guy who lost to the Filipino guy? Well, he's the man though though. He's fighting all the best fighters in the weight class that he's in. He's fighting each man yeah, one that's by all one. You can do. That's, all you, that's all you can do. You can only fight the guys that are there. Exactly. That's all you can do. That's why I hate when people have to say Larry Holmes didn't fight nobody. No, Larry Holmes fought the guys that was there. That's all you can do. You can only fight the guys that will fight you. You can only fight the guys that are in your division at the time. Hey, look, do you, I'm going to play a little bit more of this, this clip right here. I want y'all to hear this last part. What do you think would be in the bill for Is it like some Mayweather atonement? You couldn't, couldn't beat the last guy. Yeah, it one. I mean, it, it, it looked the same. It looked the same. I think it looked the same. We all know it. The real hard boxing fans know that boy can beat Canelo. Stop right there. Let, let me take it. Oh, my God. Delo 404. What up, Delo? What's up, man? D-Lo, man. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. I've been saying D-Lo but, uh, for years. But, yeah. I, but, I, but every time, every time I uh, pass by... Uh, the low street. Right. Hailing at the low. Hailing at the low. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> What's going on? Over there, I got fan right there on that note. You know when you go down the hill? It's a yeah. I got fan right there, bro. I think it's called Staten or Staten. Or, so, not Staten. Um, Lee, Lee Street, Lee oh, okay. Avenue. When you go down that that hill, it's a stoplight. Got fan right there. But um, talk to me, man. What you uh, what you think of the topic? My guy Bowman said real boxing fans know uh, Bud can beat Canelo. What's that? Yeah, I think he got a. I think he got a good shot. I mean, I, I I'm always skeptical about picking guys going to a division for the first time who. Who you know haven't fought in the division, never seen them acclimate, never seen how their power, um, how effective their power wheels at that weight class, how well they take punches, what their speed looks like. I mean, but you know, Bud having moved up through the classes like he has, and so far so good, you know, with everything moving up with him. I mean, it's hard for me to bet against the guy. I'll I'll be the first to say I don't I don't think as much of Canelo as most people. So. I'm definitely not looking at from a skill from a skill set standpoint. I think I think the advantage is far on uh, Bud's side, but you got to look at the, the weight classes. I mean, you're talking about three weight classes. That's a, that's a tall order for anybody. You know, I mean, Floyd when Floyd was Floyd and he was supposed to be one of the greatest ever. I mean, Floyd wasn't running to that Triple G fight. You know what I'm saying? That was only, you know, two weight classes. I mean, they were trying to they were trying to push him toward that fight. They tried to get him to fight Sergio Martinez. He lowballed Sergio Martinez. Sergio Martinez said okay. And he 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 and we never heard anything else about it. So I mean, guy, even the, the best of the best are, are leery about moving up the weight classes like that. <laughs> trying to say Mayweather's a duck. I mean that situation pretty much, yeah. But I mean we've seen that before. He did the same thing winking right. <laughs> now that's wrong. I do, I won a debate over there at knockout. I did a debate on that. Shout out to my guy OTB. I did a whole debate. I had the slideshow presentation. I think I was the first person to do that over there. But actually, I know I was the first because they was like, Man, this nigga don't brought slides into the debate. He's sharing his screen. What is <laughs> my boy was like, this was a fixed fight. Shout out to OTB. It's my homie. He's over there doing the most, huh? Man, I bro, I when Jordan get on the court, he gonna dunk, nigga. <laughs> All right, but um, but that's not true about that part. That fight fell apart because of the money. Simple as that. And that was I had quotes from Rinky White's manager Bob Arum at the time, um, from those articles back in the day. Basically, it came down to money. Rinky Winky wanted rightfully so. He wanted fifty fifty. Hey, he wanted more money because Floyd kept changing the terms. They had a, they had a, they had terms that as far as the weight and all that. Then Floyd changed it and said you know he basically put it way more in his favor then we can say all right well you want that then you're gonna have to pay for it and that's typically what the a side does they pay for advantages floyd floyd didn't like that so he walked away okay 
you want to relitigate that we can we can we can see that another day <laughs> we, we can we can put a case on that <laughs> i'm still undefeated you know i'm still undefeated whenever y'all want it what's up here though yo what up man bomax just said real boxing fans no bug can beat canelo what say you um i mean i don't think it's uh uh beyond the realm of possibility but uh yeah the odds aren't aren't very high you said they aren't very hot that he can beat Canelo, not will can. No, I I, I think that the, the uh, like like it's not it's not like crazy to think that that Bud could, could beat him. You know, Bud is really good, but I mean like the 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 weight difference, you know, uh, um, him never really facing a fighter uh, 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 at a, at that elite of a level. I mean, it it would be tough. All right, this open to everybody. I just want to make sure everybody got their take on that. Brim, did you give me your take on that before? Before can I, uh, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, I think he can. Willie, I don't know, but you know, I, I, I do have it like 60, 62, 38 in Canelo's favor. Just <laughs> if he just jumps straight up, you know. Now, if he fought at a higher weight and got a little acclimated, then maybe that percentage would change. But if he was just to go straight up three weight classes, I have to give the advantage to Canelo. But can he? Absolutely. But I just wanted to say one thing you probably already covered before. It's nice that Bo Mack, or not nice, what I'm saying, it is what it is, Bo Mack coming out saying, you know, it's fake news. But, you know, we got to remember, the report came they came because Chris Eubanks posted the photo. And then on top of that, Bernie the Boxer went on a different podcast, and he didn't say it was fake news. He talked about it like it was actually legit. And that's why people was running with it, thinking it was going to be something. So I think they might need to put a little muzzle on Bernie a little bit. Bernie need to chill because he, he he do it. He, so sometimes he might be doing too much. Maybe he just doesn't. Know. I believe. Go ahead. No, I believe that uh, that the fight probably was in talk. They probably were going to have the fight, but they heard how people they heard how the fans felt about this fight. They probably changed course. Oh That's boy! Now, oh boy! Now you're giving somebody a, another a particular. Uh, now you're giving another particular person wings like he actually said help stop the fight or something i don't believe that was the case who well, who is that i'm not gonna put their names out there we on the mark we are this is mark nash put a so name we, in private chat I'm i don't gonna roast him. oh let's roast no. yeah i don't even know no no because one he, 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 he was talking about me and the community we stopped this fight because we said we didn't want this fight you know uh, like I'm like, oh, stop it man you're giving yourself way too much don't make oh, shit happen. they didn't want they even need to fight either then <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but yeah. they were they were complaining when Crawford kept giving them fights they wanted one after the other. They just took credit away from him after he went and knocked the guys out. Pretty much, because they said oh, you got to fight Kell Brook too because you Spence by them, so it's a barometer. Then when he beat him, oh, he's washed up. Every time they said he, yeah. a particular fighter and he fight him after he beat him, they they they, they move the goalposts. Sean Porter was on his way out. Remember. Yep, but before the fight, all oh, Sean Porter's gonna probably beat Bud. You know this, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, when when guys get to certain levels, they believe they know what they're doing, and they don't necessarily take all the information. So, you know, this is where we at with it. That was a really <laughs> good fight, though. By the way, great it fight. was. It was you great. Had, it was chess. You had no information to give him, Kenny, that was gonna help him. <laughs> he had no information to give him. Right there. He actually I thought a very smart fight. He didn't go in trying to win. Out. He, a he didn't go. He didn't go in fight like a football player, like he usually yes, do. Pearl, what did I say? What round did I call Pearl? You remember? I, I don't. I don't. I don't. <sighs> nice round. I said he get it stopped anywhere between nine and eleven. I believe it though, but I don't remember though, Shelton. But I believe it. So Sean Porter, when he gets tired, Sean Porter, what's he do? He ducks his head and rushes in like he's a fullback. Yeah, he uh he lunges. He lunges. He does that from the yeah. first round. <laughs> yeah, I know he does. He didn't do it in the butt fight, but he usually does that all fight long. Oh, he that's why he got caught with that uppercut. He was fighting that's why he got caught with that uppercut. Yeah, yeah, he was getting I caught with that uppercut. I thought he was yeah. winning. He saw that knife in his nah, Porter was losing. Porter, but it won I the Porter last was winning. Three. No, nah, Porter last a lot, lost the last three rounds. He was up after after six, but Bud won seven, eight, nine. He won the last three rounds. He Bud was up by a point on my card. But um, the unofficial card had winning, and Puro is with that. 
But the crazy part is the people who still who who say Kenny Porter should have let the fight go on, and I'm like, he got dropped twice. That's a 10-7 round. If you look at the official cards, yeah, he was losing. Hey, look, and if you look at the official cards, he was losing on all three of those cards. Then he got a 10-7 round. He had no way of winning that fight. He would have to knock Crawford out. He had no way of winning that fight. Even if he won yeah, he the wasn't next 11 like and 12. Round, bro. Even if he won the 11th and 12th. He wasn't getting out of that fifth round, bro. He yeah, he was gonna, it was going to be a brutal KO. It was too much I time. to go on. <laughs> if he dies, he dies, Piro. No, no, not, not that. It's just because it was his last fight. You know, I mean, like we didn't know at the time, though. He would have, he would have needed a knockout. But I mean, I, I, I would, he didn't look hurt. You know, so it was his last fight. So I wish they would have let it go. On. He was though, because you never know. I mean, yeah, the odds are very low that, that he would get the knockout, but you never know. The odds are very low that he would have got out of the tent, Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I know, I know, but I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, like the fighter protested, like he was like, you know, I don't know, but whatever. I mean, like it was a good stop. Yeah. What does that really matter? It doesn't really matter because Errol didn't protest at all. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He 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 put his hand up like I'm still not done getting beat on yet. You talking about? Oh, you talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That was the person. He was like, "What you?" That's why I got to give it to Arrow, man. I I, I cracked some jokes here and there. Yeah, Arrow's a dog. Yeah, but I Arrow's my jokes are really yeah, towards his dog. fan base, not him, the fighter or the man. Like yeah. he's a well, he's Arrow's a, a warrior. He got man, turned up. He's a tough. He's a warrior, but he still got some cap in him though, Mister Seven and a Half Months Before Cataract Surgery. So, yeah, you know. I mean, shit. I I wouldn't want to fight Terrence Crawford the first time. <laughs> my buddies are worse. So what? I said the Bud Buddies are worse. No, they're not. Errol yeah. Sexuals is way worse. Bud Buddies are winning. <laughs> and the Spins fans are looking like this right here he on the screen. Look at uh, <laughs> Y'all niggas got he the He was trying to get a man killed. He was saying that you know, it's going to be a good fight. The man's a dog. We said that all the way leading up to the fight. They're the ones saying that uh, Bud versus Errol going to look like your favorite dog getting hit by a pickup truck and you going to run over him and he going to do And it, and it did. <laughs> It, that's exactly what it looked like. Go ahead, D -Lo. It just happened up there. Go ahead, D-Lo. Nah, I was just saying that's exactly what it looked like. It just it just was the, the wrong the wrong person with the dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> it happened the other way around. Yeah, I told him. I said, man, if Harvey Dot didn't start that fight, Errol Spence would still be in that bitch swinging right now. Or or worse. You get what I'm saying? He'll still be trying to get up. This was like he, he would probably be at a hospital bed swinging. Man, remember them old fights yeah, back in the day? They let you do like they they let you get up and as many times as you you can get your body up. They will do an eighty count, yeah, get yeah. You up, and then as soon as you stand up, they do hit you again. If it was one of those fights like that, man, <laughs> man, Spence would have had Spence had Spence had more in him, man. It, I mean, so here's a question for you, Mark. It would have got bad. It would it was about to get worse, but. Here's a question for you, Mark. They're saying the boy coming back, and they say he's going to announce this after the Frank Martin fight, right? Yeah. Who did he fight? Who, in your opinion, who did he fight? Um, I, I, I'll, defer, I'll defer to uh, Puro, Brim, and D'Lo first, uh, in whatever <laughs> y'all want to go in. I'm, I'm uh, seeing uh, Dempsey McKenzie at, one, at 150. That's what, I, that's what I saw today. Dempsey McKenzie at 150. Hold on, not 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 what you saw, D Lo. Don't cheat. What you want to see? I think. The oh, oh. You want to see Spence fight? Well, who would I want to see him fight? Yeah. Um. I mean, it, it, I guess it would be at one fifty four since, um, it's not a, anything over one forty seven. It's a fifty four fight, pretty much. Um, for me, I think I think Erickson Lubin would be a good fight. Yep. That's exactly who was first on my mind. Yeah. He lost his last fight, but they gave him the win, so Ooh. it don't matter. The they record books say so. Won. So we got two people coming off of losses. Then sound about right there to you me. Go. Yep, and it's a safer fight for Earl. You think is he need to have a safer, a little bit safer fight? He so don't need to be in a dangerous, dangerous fight. Moving to him in a mm -hmm. cross, in a crossroad fight. Meet you at the crossroads, so you won't be lonely. <laughs> uh, Brian Mendoza, uh, Mark. <laughs> How you know you're not seeing Errol to lose it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You you posed the question. Um, so let everybody answer first. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, go ahead. Yeah, I want to hit you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Brian Mendoza, Mark. That's what I want to see. Brian Mendoza. 
Mendoza, yeah. That's Damn. a fight. <laughs> it's a rematch, too, from the amateurs. That's a dangerous fight. Hey, speaking of that, hey, you already... um, go ahead. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead, bro. Who you want to see him fight? Because Shelton ready, Shelton ready to rebut all of y'all. Go ahead. I said it already. Lubin. He said Lubin. D-Lo, you, you said who? I, I said Lubin, but I was about to say Castano because we hadn't seen Castano since the Charlo fight. And they got, and you know, Castano beat uh, Errol in the amateurs as well. I apologize. I meant Castano. I, I don't know why I said Mendoza. Castano is who I meant. Sorry. Okay. So, Castano, Castano, Lubin. But here's the question. Y'all said, y'all, Mark said you're going to feed Lubin to Errol. How do you know you're not feeding Errol to Lubin or feeding Errol to Castano? I'm sure the thinking for PBC matchmakers would be that they'll put Errol in a position to get a quality win and, uh, you know, get his momentum back. I mean, that don't mean it would play out that way. We see that we see that often in boxing where guys get put in a situation that's supposed to be a layup and then they end up getting dunked on. Mm. Exactly. Um, what was I going to say? Um, fuck, what's his name? God damn it. It was in my back of my head. I forgot. Hold on. Let me, let me put these. Let me see. Give him Hayes Ramos. Give him Ramos. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Ramos. Hard fight. Hard fight. Yeah, that'd be cool. I now like you, that. Then you feeding them. Then you feeding them. Shit. Those are the tight fighters that Arrow made his name off of. That's why. That's probably why Mark keeps saying you feed him. No. Hayes no. Ramos just lost his last fight. Didn't he? No. He got robbed. Boy. That's not him. Yeah, right. he got robbed. He, against he, he Lubin. Lubin. They were they weren't that Lubin. They robbed him against Lubin. Oh, I'm, really? thinking, I'm thinking about Brian Mendoza. My bad. Brian Mendoza was the one that fought Tim Zoo, right? Right. That's Correct. what I was thinking about yeah. when I said when I was saying, yeah, I, I get them two mixed up a lot. Look, man, I like. Where's the robbery calling in boxing, Mark? Nah, that's my bar. Don't be stealing my bars against me, bro. You know, Never wait a bit. He won or that's he lost. my line. He <laughs> my line bro you can't he lost okay he lost so there's no robbery he lost so you got Errol coming up tomorrow but, but, was, but what i'm talking off. about is how dominant he was in that fight and what, how what fight what fight damn no y'all didn't see lubin y'all no didn't... i don't i don't think i don't think that boy was dominant in that fight that was a close fight you know what i'm saying hey hey i i know i know what the people who you know i know the commentator was saying i know what a lot of people who watch the fight say but i mean i didn't see it that way i mean i didn't i don't i didn't feel like lubin did enough to win the fight but i didn't feel like it was just a you know what i'm saying a robbery i just felt like it was a close fight that went the other way yeah i wouldn't I, call it dominance mark but i know where you're coming from look at the punch stats i know they don't go by the punch stats but i mean the punch stats matches what i see so yeah. look at look at the punch stats yeah. round by round his punch stats, yeah. his punch yeah. stats yeah. Yeah. did he drop it off a lot they're crazy. They 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 are by a lot. Didn't he drop Lubin twice so in the yeah. fight or no? No, no, no. He didn't drop. No. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. They didn't count it or what? Yes, he did. The one of them they didn't count. He dropped them once and one dropped they didn't count. But really, I don't remember. I agree with you. I don't either. Well, I, I agree with you. When they announced the decision, I was like, "Oh, that's bullshit." I thought you know they got it wrong, but. The fact still remains that he lost. So you got a guy coming off a loss and this arrow coming off a loss. I think that's a good fight. Okay, according to box rate, and they've been wrong lately. They need to wake up. Um, it was no knockdowns in that fight. Oh, I don't remember knockdowns either. But, yeah, I don't remember any. Hold up, one seventeen, one eleven. Yeah, that's an egregious scorecard. That, that was that was ugly. One sixteen. That was 115 113. That's 115 crazy. 113 was spot on. To me, 115 113 for Lubin, I could agree with. But I, if I, for me, really, 115, 114, 114, or 115 113 the other way is more likely. Right. That's why. But, but like I said, yeah. the, it all depended on how, how the early rounds were scored. Lubin was landing some tough counts, some, some nice counters. Jack. But then. 
Yeah, man, doing- the, uh, but then um, old boy's output kind of just tapered off after like round seven. And, and you know what I'm saying? And I think that's when he, he started giving the fight away. Even his corner was telling him he wasn't doing enough. No, nah, his corner was telling me he was winning yeah. and he was ahead. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think late they told him that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They told him that, and that's when he kind of took his foot off the gas. And started, you know, it's like he started coasting. You're right. He did coast a little bit. Like I, I mean, we watched Mayweather and Canelo, and somebody scored that fight a draw. Yeah, somebody never scored another fight after that. That was CJ Ross. She pretty much she pretty much retired after that. It was actually Adelaide Bird. Come on. No, Adelaide Bird scored Triple G versus Canelo for Canelo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. You're right. My bad. My fault. CJ Ross. You know it's bad. Yeah, so we've seen like, this before. This yeah. Is, this yeah, is but bad. everybody knew maybe they're the one clearly. Nobody, I mean, but like, nobody gave Ramos the fight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Seventeen to one eleven. What are you watching? Yeah, they need to stop scoring fights. They need to go back to go back to judging school or something. Man, they need to let Tony look. Errol Spence need to. Uh, I think he need to fight a top ten guy, maybe at one fifty four, but not a top two, top three, top five guy. Man, put him in with Vito Mickey Jr. He's a powerful fighter. He's a powerful fighter. He's a powerful fighter. But he's coming off a a a. a Devastating loss and he don't take, take two up, Mark. That was back in the day. <laughs> hey, he was taking two up then. They just they just with the sky. Hold on, Mark. Hold on, Mark. Canelo got his ass while he walked. He still fought a top guy after that. What are you talking about? No, he didn't. No, no. no he's oh, people on Molly wiped his ass. No, people on Molly wiped his ass. No, and what type? What type guy did he fight after Bimbo? No, he fought Triple G after that. He fought a top guy. Who did he fight out the big ball? He fought a top ball with the Who? Who did he fight out the big Say the name. The name. Triple G. Triple G. Triple G. Triple G. Man, Triple G was far from a top guy at that point. Okay. Oh, yeah, at that point, yeah, he was. He was, he was, he was yeah. Yo, and fix your mic. You sound well, muffled. Brought hard, him man. up to 68. Yeah, he fought, he fought Triple G. Brought him up to 68 and still couldn't do nothing with him. Hey, look, I, I know still who. Uh, Eric, tough fight for Canelo. I got it. I got it, y'all. I got it. A battle for Texas against none other. Oh no! Oh, man. Austin, no <laughs> doubt, Trout. Try to fuck him no. up. No, that, he's, he's from New Mexico, bro. He's from New Mexico, bro. Hey, he's from Las Cruces. You're right. Well, he fighting in Texas. I thought. I thought he <laughs> in Texas. Yeah, that's he's too dangerous for a Mark. Uh, well, Trout will beat his ass. He should fight Victor Ortiz. That's who he should fight. Man, Austin Ooh. tried it, hopping around. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Austin Trout just get hopping out, bro. Pause. You you dropped off. You said uh, said what? I said Austin Trout's just hopping around from league to league boxing. He's doing bare knuckle one minute, and next minute he's doing the um, you know, back in regular professional boxing. But look, it's a name. It's a former champion. Uh, Austin Trout is number eleven in the WBA. Yeah, top twenty guy. <laughs> Top fifteen guy, yeah. yeah. I will, I will put Victor it in there. Victor Ortiz ain't ranked nowhere up in this bitch, bro. Austin Victor Trout. Ortiz. No, better. No, no, he's, he's not better. ranked. He's not ranked he's anywhere. He's, he's, he's not better. ranked anywhere. <laughs> he's not ranked anywhere. <laughs> Mark, he is. He is ranked. He is ranked. Wait, where he ranked at? In the top ten? Uh, right now. Give me one second. He is number. I'm talking about top three. Number three in the WBA. Virgil or he's talking about Virgil. He said oh, Victor. Virgil. Oh, Victor. Oh, oh, oh shit. I thought he said, I thought he was talking about Virgil. My bad. My bad. No, you that's, all, that's what I'm talking about. That's nah, what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Virgil. Nigga, you, you said, said Victor. Virgil. I know. Victor I got it wrong, Mark. I, oh, okay, I got okay, okay. wrong. I'm talking about Virgil. Put him in there with Virgil. He's Earl Spence, right? You said Battle for Texas. That's a Battle for Texas. Why would you put a guy in there with a top three guy like that, bro? Coming off of like that. The fight, Mark. Right? He can rematch his last IBF mandatory. Um, I forget the guy's name, but he he knocked him out in like a round or two. Uh, he been at fifty four. You know, he may represent. Uh, oh, Campo. Say it again. Oh, Campo. 
Yeah, yeah. He been he looked like a totally different fighter at 54. He looked solid. It seemed like Sheryl Moore just wants something bad to happen to Errol Spence. <laughs> no, I don't want like that. Hey, see, I, like, you I don't like your Mel Charlo. Mel Charlo. That's no. They told me he's a pound for pound fighter. They told me bro, he was going to go up and face Canelo. Bro, 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 bro. He, so, no, 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 show, show more. Let's stick to the, show more. Let's stick to the facts, bro. Stop the jokes. This is real shit. The guy just got his okay, ass. Okay, let's do the guy just got his ass kicked. He'd never been dropped before. Got dropped three times. Busted up, bloodied up, beat the fuck up, embarrassed in front of God and country. And he just had a surgery. You don't put him back in the ring with a top one, two, or three guy. That's just, that's that's career suicide. I'm asking for serious Ooh. questions. Um, I'm asking serious questions and inquiries. Not, And I don't care what fucking YouTube daddy said, because the YouTube daddy said it wrong. So... You don't have to tell you don't me care about that. So you like they said, I don't, this, care they said I, don't, I don't care what they said. So no, 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 no. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me I'm asking a serious question though. No Virgil Ortiz. Who do you put him in there with, bro? Shit. Uh I don't know. You gotta be you can't go too far down because he's their own finish. So you gotta put him in there at least with a at least Mendoza level. At least Ryan Mendoza. At least that. He can't go nowhere below that. I don't even think that's a good style for him right now, though. Pandora would be a good style for him. You know, Pandora's fighting for a title, bro. That's true. Nah, Tony Harrison, man. Put him in there with Tony Harrison. There you go. Tony Harrison, bro. Tony ain't fighting no more. Tony retired. Tony's not retired, bro. I thought he did. When did Tony say he's out of retirement? Nah, he back out of retirement. He retired like Shakur retired. <laughs> no, we not, we not, we not giving him a soft touch like Tony. That'd he's their offense. T- yeah, Tony Harrison, a former champion. Yeah, put him in there with Tony. What you think, um, Brim, D-Lo, Kuro? I don't have a problem with that. Nah, I ain't tripping. You know. Tony Harrison ain't known to pack a hell of a punch like that, respectfully. So uh, you, you, it ain't like he's going to get beat up too bad. Tony Harrison is going to move a lot, so Spence going to have to go get him, work his body, work his uh, jab. You know what I'm saying? Vintage Spence can get off on a mover like that. You get what I'm saying? But um, not have to worry about, like, this guy is about to do you, hit you with one of those Mendoza Fandora punches. You get what I'm saying? Or Virgil Ortiz, a young guy like that. A young Virgil Ortiz. Young, hungry, undefeated guy like Virgil Ortiz. I think, yeah. Hey, Mark, you got the computer, you got the computer right there? You can't see the screen? No, I'm on the phone, remember? Oh, okay. Do me a favor. Look up and see who was Tommy Hearns' next fight at middleweight after he got his ass money walked by Marvin Hagler. Who cares? That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> I just want to see. Yeah, but he got beat. I'll look it up. Go ahead, bro. Was it an Iran Barkley? His so next that, fight? I don't know. If so, that's bad because he got beat again. Yeah, right? I hope they won the next fight. I know. I saw how that went down. No, you know his next fight went to happen because he won a title after happen. You said Tommy. Um, Hearn, you said Tommy Hearns next fight, right? Yeah, after, after Hagler, after the Hagler fight where he got Molly Wap, what was his next fight? Let me scroll down. I hope this ain't no rhetorical question, bro. You making me do all this for no, no, no. I just want to see. I'm just asking you to do me a favor. I can do. I can look it up myself. I just want. I didn't want to uh james Schuler, and he stopped and he fought him and he knocked him out in the first round undefeated james Schuler, undefeated james Schuler, and that is it, that, that was james Schuler's uh, first loss and last fight too he fought again after that and, and all i'm saying is if you a top guy you can't go too far down that's all i'm trying to say you can't go to the college and campos of the world you got a guy that's relevant. So you can't put him in with just some Joe Schmo. I mean, you can, but it just don't look good. Yeah. 
You got to put him in with somebody decent. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you something. They, I don't know if y'all can see the screen. This is something they did back then, too. They don't do no more. Like, he, he lost. Y'all y'all see what I'm, you see what I'm saying, too, right, Puro? Uh, the very next fight, uh -huh. you, you, you just got knocked out by Marvin Hagler. Your very next fight, you back on the card mm -hmm. with Marvin Hagler. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> they don't even do shit like that no more. He's back in the ring after getting knocked out back same time as the guy who knocked him out. And he got you know, a first knockout. You know, Tommy was a Tommy at that time was a was a bigger fighter than Marvin, so that probably was something in the contract that if um you know what I'm saying that if he loses to him that he'll be on his card, you know, for the next fight. That's probably you know what I'm saying it, it's not out of the realm of possibility. But that is uh, I do got to put a case on that because that's speculation, sir. Well, Marvin, yeah, I Marvin was the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Marvin was the man. And they also Tommy, Tommy was a bigger star. Tommy, yeah, also, Tommy and Sugar Ray were always bigger stars than Marvin. They also well, like uh, appreciated, uh, appreciated, uh, appreciated, uh, appreciated us fans, and they would give us really good cards as well. What you say, Pure? I said they also appreciated us fans back in those days, so they used to give us really good cards. Yeah, that's the that's the main thing. Yeah. Now, Sugar Ray was definitely a bigger star than all them dudes, but I don't know if Tony was bigger than Marvin. Okay, viral boxing said, "Hey, look, put him in there with Thurman." That's who I wanted Thurman to say. Got a fight. Thurman got to win first. Hold on, Sean. Say say what you say on um, Puro. No, I said that. That's the guy I wanted to say was Thurman because you know everybody wanted to. I still want to see that fight. You know, because sure, like see the link, man, so you can just pull up on the panel so I can hear you better. You know. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, so I was trying to remember the name. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. There you go. There you go. You ain't saying shit. No, I just wanted to know. Relax. Jeez. Um, <laughs> you said, can you hear me? I just wanted to know if y'all can hear me. That's it. I ain't got to answer. Right. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, man, he should. I think he should be fighting Lubin. Lubin's pillow fisted. He's not that dangerous. It's a perfect fight. I don't think he's quote unquote pillow fisted, bro. Neither do I. He ain't put he ain't putting nothing out on the top level. He might put out forest fires, but that's about it. You know, Smokey the Bear style. So, but that's about only it. you can refer to forest fires. Hey, he was the first one to drop Fundora, at least that that I know of. I mean, Fundora. What is he? I mean, the man. Can continuously smothers his own office. Oh my god, Brent, we're gonna downplay everybody so you can make your I'm point. not downplaying, I'm just being honest. I mean he need to fight he need to listen watch his sister. He need to be taking his sister's advice because his sister fights out with all that length, he basically eliminates all the length by being an inside fighter, which makes no sense. He needs to he need to be in a camp with his sister, he needs to follow what gap he's doing. Because she's doing it right. He's doing the same thing he does. No, she doesn't smother her work, bro. Yeah, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes, she, she actually. Yes, she does. She does. She does. ain't fighting the caliber of fighters he fight. No, y'all, y'all, y'all got y'all blind. I'm gonna let y'all have that. She actually knows how to jab and, and, and use distance. He doesn't do that. But Man, I'm gonna when I need him, bro. We were talking about this I, the other day. I, I got a theory. I got a theory about why he does that too. Um, usually those tall, real tall guys, they really don't do good in boxing, man. Because they can't see those looping shots. You get what I'm saying? Especially those real tall, lanky guys and those lower divisions. Like, especially if they're not a jet, like, they, they don't really see those looping shots. And sometimes those guys get in on them and catch them with these shots. Y'all saw it this weekend, um, or last weekend with Ray Vargas versus, um, what's little homie name? Nick Ball. Um, Nick Ball. Uh, rabbit Punch, I call him. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, he was getting those wide looping shots in over the tall guys. So, so a lot of times I noticed the, the taller guys, so they can see the shots where they're coming from. They like to get in close. On those little guys, they can lean on them, they can tie them up, but also I can hit you with shots right here because I'm so tall that you can't really you can't really do too much right here. You can't do that looping shot like jumping up right there and all of that. I'm right here on you. You can't you can't this is not an effective punch in boxing doing like this when I'm on you like that. So I I, I think that's why he fights like that. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but he got some thick ass glasses. I don't know if he's near side or far sided, but probably both. I noticed. 
Yeah, so um, I think he does that too, so he can see the punches coming. Um, Adam, but that's my opinion. I passed the mic though. What's up, OG Show? It's collection, sir. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Put a case on me. Them glasses. Hey, are, those glasses are officially mm. thick as a motherfucker, bro. Yeah. Yo, homie glass, homie. Be, yo, homie glasses be like this and shit, yo. Hey, Shelton, tell him how we uh, we already knew the front door was gonna get exposed, bro. Hey, he got the Mr. Magoo glasses, don't he? They well, be like, because, uh, hey, listen, as a person that wear glasses, it. I don't appreciate the disrespect about people with glasses. The, the well, reason we knew, do, but they don't look like that. Nigga shit the reason like, we knew, because we went to the Fedora fight when he fought Ocampo. Is that right, Piero? Went to Ocampo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that motherfucker went 12 hard rounds with Carlos Ocampo. Yeah, but you know what? If you look at box rec, it don't look that way on the scorecard. I thought the same thing. That was the fight that I, I gained all this respect for Ocampo. Because I felt like Ocampo, would, I mean, he, he made that fight as close as it could be. And then it we went was long. There. Yeah, we were, we there. were there. Even after that. We, we were watching the fight live. Yeah, we didn't, yeah. We didn't we even there. know if Fondura was going to win. That's how close it was. I felt the same way watching on TV, but right. I, know, I know what the talk is. But, but that right. told me if you got if you go twelve hard rounds, and I saw my per, I don't care about the scoring, I don't care about the judges. I know what I saw with my own two eyes. If you went twelve hard rounds with this dude, if you get in there with somebody better, they could probably gonna knock your ass out. Cause you should have been got rid of this dude. He could. He didn't have it in him. And Mendoza pulled all that shit that was in him. Mendoza pulled it out. And the fact, if you watch that Mendoza fight, me and Piero talked about this before. Mendoza set him up for that shot all fucking night. He set him up for that shot and walked him right into it. He didn't even have to set him up. Shelter, remember we were saying that his head movement <laughs> is non-existent, bro. Non-existent, bro. Non-existent. Mendoza said, yeah, he's going to shoot that lazy-ass jab out there. And when he shoot it, I'm coming over the top. And boy, yeah, did he. And boy, did he. <laughs> yeah, man. That was an ugly knockout, too. Yeah, that was so vicious. Good. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm sorry, because I can't tell when I'm mute on my thing, because the button don't light up anymore. I apologize, gentlemen. Yeah, I mean, again, Fendor, some others, all his work, man. It's, it's, I mean, I mean that's a decent fight, but he's fighting for the, the title, which is kind of crazy. But I don't think Spencer be fighting any heavy punchers coming back on his first fight. So that's what I think. I mean, if they want him to at least be to get three more fights in his career, and they need to be tread lightly. Face it, face a top ten guy, but the most pillow fisted out of the top ten. You know what I think Earl Spence needs to do? What? Retire. I don't think so. I was going to say that. I don't think he's done done. Crawford, I dun, think dun, just, dun, it, was, dun. It, it, was, it was just timing, the timing of everything. Crawford Crawford been preparing for Spence for years, man. And Spence didn't have no plan B or nothing. He went in and did what he normally do against somebody as skilled as Crawford and prepared for, been mentally preparing for this guy for five years. No. Smackdown. It's, that's why I think Usyk finna smack down Fury because I think Usyk been preparing for Fury for years. Same he's gonna be Fury because Fury has problems with movement. That's why he's gonna be Fury. He's gonna move and beat shit up Fury. But, but it ain't just about movement. It's because he actually has wonderful timing, phenomenal timing. So he he to me, shit out this dude. I think he's gonna. Yeah. I think I think I he's gonna wait. be. I think he's gonna be Fury where Fury ain't gonna even rematch him, and then Fury's gonna fight Anthony Joshua and get knocked out. You never heard of it. <laughs> And then we'll put an end to this overhype of Fury and Wilder. And we'll realize it was a great fight between them for what it's worth, but they weren't the top guys. Yeah, they, people are prisoners of the moment. He knocked out Wilder and he just all of a sudden made him one of the greatest of all time. I just don't see it. But yeah, you know, than Ali. Yeah, yeah spare yeah. me the details. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't see it. But you know, they, they like him, so fuck it. Uh, uh, when are back, to, back to Spence. <laughs> Ah, nah, hold up, Sheldon. You just talking and over talking and just moving the topic. I didn't over talk. I just say nothing. All I said was they like him, so fuck it. They like him. No, a lot yeah. of people don't like him. <laughs> Been doing it. Listen, you're wrong. That's all I wanted to say. Go ahead, D-Lo. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know what topic we on now, man. He, my man, that mooder. 
<laughs> no, no, they were just talking about Usyk and Fury, how Usyk's going to beat Fury, and everybody's going to be all shocked like they didn't see the shit coming. No, nah, I, I, would, I wouldn't be shocked. One thing I'll say about Usyk that a lot of people forget about, Usyk was Joshua's mandatory. They, they were very hesitant to make that fight. And then when they made the fight, they, they put a rematch clause in there. You typically don't see rematch clauses in fights for mandatory. On um, the sanction the bodies usually don't even allow that. You know, they kind of like, hey, this is a mandated fight. And the guy wins, he got the opportunity to go on and do something else. But they, they that, that was like the hold up of that fight in, in a lot of ways was trying to get that uh, rematch clause how they wanted it. And they went in and, and beat him twice. So I felt like a lot of those guys, if AJ was supposed to be one of the top guys, he had three belts at the time. He had that much respect for Usyk, so did Eddie Hearn. I felt like the guy guy was legit at the, you know, had a, had a legit shot at actually being where he is now. So I wouldn't be surprised if he goes out there and beat Fury. I'm not that high on Fury. Either. There was no hesitation in making that fight. They made that fight immediately. No, sir. No, sir. They that did. They, did. About they, made that fight. they made that fight. They made that fight. That fight was talked about for a whole year. That, no, that no, 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 you're wrong. I ain't you're wrong. wrong. I, I ain't you are, you are, you're wrong. No, I ain't wrong about this. I promise you, you that. You're, you're, I'm, and, and, so am I wrong about the rematch clause? Am I wrong about the rematch clause? No, you're not. No, you're not wrong about that. You're not wrong about that. But who cares? Rematch clauses happen all the time. Right, but my point is, it was a delay in getting that fight made. That fight was talked about for quite a while. They actually had another fight before they fought. What are you talking about? It wasn't even asked for, to be honest. Sir, that fight... One I didn't talk about when they called the manager. I'm saying they were talking about making that fight. It, it kind of lingered on. Long you talking about that? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, hey, I ain't come on to argue nobody. Y'all got it. No, no, no. no. Let's, hey, let's I was wrong. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Hold on. They got it. Let me ask you a question. Relax, relax. Are you talking about they were talking about it? Are you talking about the teams were negotiating? Are you talking about fans on YouTube and pundits? No, no, no. I'm talking about negotiation for a mandatory took a little too long. Because they were negotiating a rematch clause. I thought I thought they were negotiating. That's you, hesitation to make a fight in any in any out. world. You dropped off. I don't know if you can see it, but you keep going boop and boop. No. Every time, that happen, every time that's happening, that's you dropping off the panel and then you come back and we can't we miss a, what you said. Yeah, I'm getting wrapped and brought back. No, so, I was saying when a champion has the mandatory. And the fight gets held up, negotiating a rematch clause for a mandatory. That's hesitation in any, no matter who that fighter is. Okay, I remember he beat AJ. You, you yeah, you keep blacking out, D'Lo. Um, I remember he beat AJ. They had a rematch clause, so that slowed things down. Then they fought again. Then after that, I think Fury had a – didn't Fury have a mandatory? I do remember at one point they were negotiating, and the issue was the money. And I remember him calling Fury greedy belly and all of that. They uh, He fought Daniel Dubois, and then right after that, the fight was made. Like, But it took the Saudis, some would say, for them to get involved for us to finally get it so everybody's getting the money that they want. Are you talking about a no, time? No, he's before? not talking about uh, that. Fury, Fury was hesitant to fight the man, too. But, yeah, I was talking about AJ. AJ and he, was AJ, he was talking about the AJ Usyk fight, the first fight. He was talking about that because usually in title in unification fights, mandatory. There, are, there is no mandatory. there is no rematch clause in a, in a mandatory. There is no rematch clause. You get your mando shot. If you lose, you lose. If you win, you win. But there is no rematch in a on a mandatory defense. There is no rematch with the IBF, right? I do know that's the IBF. Rules, with anybody, right. when have you seen a mandatory challenger get a rematch clause? When have you seen that? I would have to think and look for it, but that's like a weird ass riddle to ask me on the spot. But I do know the idea. <laughs> well, I'm just saying it doesn't happen because it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. <laughs> it, it does when when you're at rematch room because Eddie Hearn insists on it. Hey, rematch room. Oh, room. Exactly. <laughs> that's what they call him. That's what he used to call him back in the day. I like yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, I never heard that one, Puro. No, you never heard that. Hmm. Honestly, bro, I never, never heard. I never heard rematch room. I've never heard that. Yeah, yeah. Well, held the fight up was um uh the possible Anthony Joshua Fury fight, and then I remember because and the only thing that held it up is because uh, uh they wanted to fight. You know, like they looked like they were gonna. You know, everything was gonna work out, but then Deontay Wilder was like, "Nah, I, I, I'm on a rematch." Blah blah blah. He had to go to arbitration. La la la. 
And as soon as, uh, you know, the arbitration went through and, and that fight fell through, like right away, they signed uh, Usyk uh, AJ. There was no hesitation. That's how I remember it. Well, AJ don't duck no mandatories. You can say what you want to about AJ. But that's one thing he don't do. He fights all his mandatories. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, my bad, uh, d I, I thought y'all was talking about the Fury and Usyk. Yeah, if we, well, we all know Fury was happening. He was getting all the money. I thought he was getting the money yeah. and not. This shows me the hesitation. This is only one thing that shows me the hesitation. When you say, okay, motherfucker, I'll fight you, but I want it 70-30, and the dude you're talking to says run it, and you still don't take the fight, you don't want to fight Small man, y'all remember the thing with Skills Challenge? <laughs> crazy me had already agreed to his purse, and then yeah, very... but, but Skills Challenge went away. No, and they but, um, this before it. they you, this before they went away though. I'm y'all do about know he has agreed to fight the guy already three times, right? That what ain't something. You, yeah, that ain't something you do when you scared of somebody. The fight, that the fight they just made, the fight they about to have, and the rematch clause. He's already agreed three times to fight the dude. You can't be scared of a dude and you don't agree three times. Well, he agreed three times. Where's the third time come from? Mark, he's that makes too much one sense, time, bro. Come on. on. May 18th. The third he's time. fighting on May 18th. That's the first I, time he agreed to fight him. And they agreed to a rematch. You just, the just other you time. You're loud and screaming. No, no. I just no, said no, no, it. No, 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 no. I just said it. How? Okay. The first time they agreed to fight. The fight got right. Agreed to the new day, right. and right. then got they have a rematch. and they have a rematch. That's three times. Like I've, I've That's agreed not three times, bro. That's I two times. He I got a three. fight. He got cut. They I moved agree. the date. That's one fight. That's not two fights. I didn't. Say, I didn't That's say one fight. fight, bro. I said three times he has agreed to fight him. I agreed to fight he him. He didn't have day. a choice. He had a contract. My nigga, he what got you a talking choice. About? He, he had a choice. He had a choice. He, he had a choice, but his options wasn't too good. Shelton, you can fight, fight or be sued. Him. What do you want to do? Shelton, he didn't have to agree to fight him at all. He didn't, but he did. He didn't. And once he agreed to fight him, when he got cut, that didn't change anything. You either fight this guy when we say fight him, or we sue you for our money back. The money that you haven't got paid That's, yet? No, he's got to be paid some of that money. You think Fury's paying for his own training camp? Uh, Objection. He's not paying for that. Come on, man, stop it. How much did he get paid, Shelby? How much money he I got don't, on? No, don't care. I'm just saying he's not paying for his training camp. <laughs> or, oh, that's in the fucking contract. And you know mind. that. You just put that in your mind. You have no proof. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You, you know you're being silly. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Zero. You 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 being silly by saying he agreed to fight the man three times. Man, you make him personal. That's dumb as a motherfucker. We're calling names. All right. Man, come on. I'm not making too much sense, names. Mark. You're making too much sense, Mark. Come on. Man, you're Stop. being silly. You're being silly. It's silly. No, bro. You don't know three how times. Ain't fuck that. You no, agreed no. to fight no three motherfucker times. three times. He no, agreed bro. to fight him once. I didn't see you're you're going okay, whatever. He didn't have to <laughs> fight him at all, Sean. You know he it. didn't have to, but he did. What are you talking about? He, to... he did agree to a rematch clause too, right? He had to do that. That's two fights. You talking about three? I'm trying to figure out what his third did shit he came have from. To do a rematch. Did he have to agree to a fight? Did he have to do to a rematch? No. How many times you seen a guy get injured and cut in the fight, and that fight don't happen? Y'all remember? I remember what's his name? Josh fucking Taylor. Remember when Josh Taylor was supposed to fight Catterall, got injured, and ended up fighting somebody else? Right. You know that fight fell through again, right? He Mark? pulled out of Catterall fight again. It didn't yeah, fall through. The fight didn't fall through. They, they just moved the date. They just moved the date. Like they ain't never seen him box the way. They just moved the date. As long as he watched boxing, he ain't never seen a guy get injured. After he get injured, end up not fighting that guy and fighting somebody else. Yep. Man, you, you just oh, on this fury shit. And you've been on this fury shit for the last right. couple of months. I don't know why. Attack. See, we ain't even sticking to the... Now it's I'm silly. Now I'm on some fury shit. I'm having a conversation. You've been on this shit for the last couple months, telling me how good he looks. He's ready. He motherfucker ain't ready. He's gonna get his ass whooped. I couldn't have said that months ago because he didn't look ready months ago. 
He looked ready in this so whenever last you said it. He looked sober. I talk to your motherfucking ass every day, so whenever you said it. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. I, you will be blocked tomorrow, though, nigga. I don't Trust. give a fuck. Trust you me. You care? <laughs> Leave me. Please. I'm not going to lose no sleep, nigga. I'll call you another YouTuber tomorrow, nigga. I'm blocking you tomorrow, nigga. You think I... You think... <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all tonight. <laughs> you mad? Joking. You mad? Hey, hey, Mark! I'm gonna pull up on you. I know where you live in Georgia and in North Carolina. I'm gonna pull up on your ass. <laughs> okay, it won't be no pulling down after that, though. <laughs> Run up on me, nigga! I'm gonna feed you to the dogs. So, what do you think? What did you think about? Uh, 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 Bomac, did you see Bomax fighter that uh, uh, cruiserweight? Nah, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. He's a youngster, he's the second fight on the card, man. He was decent. Yeah, you would hit me up about that shit early, man. I missed that card, man. Uh, I oh, that. man. No, this was on the uh, this was on the Zapata card. You nah, fought on the Zapata card. I misspoke. I said I missed that fight. Oh, okay. I, okay. I saw yeah. with Cofield and the main event. Oh, that, and that dude I saw was dirty, that. wasn't he? And I saw that Dominican Jay, dude. And I go ahead, go ahead. That Dominican dude was he not dirty? Damn, he was dirty. Homie was crying <laughs> like somebody did something wrong to him. Y'all saw that? <laughs> yeah, that dirty was an understatement. Good grief, he was picking that him dude. up like he was taking him for a trip, like he wanted to do, you know, do piggyback rides. I'm like, what the hell? He picked him up three, four different times. When's the last time you seen somebody just rush in straight with their forehead? I mean, just rush in. Yeah, Schofield got to fix that. <laughs> uh, he got to jab his way in. He be running for the. He be looking for power shots too quickly. Yeah, I thought fucking. Back. I thought Porter was bad, bro. God damn, man, get your head out of the way. But that boy got some pop though. Yeah, he do got pop. He do got pop. Yeah, he throws. But uh, Puro uh, Delo, what y'all think it is? Because I have an issue with that when I see younger fighters, and I think the commentary spoke. Of, they spoke of it, but they didn't say it quite this way. They, they see, see y'all the fight under what? Uh, I was about to say, I had a dramatic pause. Um, <laughs> he loads up a lot, right? Yeah, shots. But my biggest issue with Floyd Schofield, it seems like he throws everything with the same speed, same speed, right. that jab, the same speed, the hook. Like I don't like, I damn sure don't like to see young fighters leaving their feet to throw left hooks. But he leaves his feet to throw left hooks. I don't like that. It's like yeah, I, man, think he need, I think oh, he needs a new trainer, bro. Oh, 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 um, <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And the other thing is, he don't like I said. Oh, so those are the main things. Throws everything with the same speed. Uh, the jab, the same speed. Um, he loads up on all these shots, and he li literally leaps and lunges and leaves his feet to throw those left hooks. So, what what do you think about that? Before we talk about firing your dad, show. He needs to fire his dad. <laughs> no, I, is that his trainer? Who's uh, his trainer? Here, Ronnie, Sh Ronnie Let, Shields, isn't it? Is it? I thought so. I thought he's secondary to the dad. I thought dad is head coach. Or do they got Ronnie Shields though? Come on. Yeah, you need to let him work with Ronnie, man. Because what you got him doing? Well, look, look, let me ask you. Let me ask. Let me get. Let me. Hold on, hold on. I literally said, D. I want to bring them in real quick because Sheldon, you go. Yeah. I know you go. Good. That yeah, everybody yeah. they're quiet unless I bring them in. Um, D Lo Brim, can oh, those things be fixed? Does he need a new coach? Since Shelton brought that into play, does he need a new coach? Can those things be fixed? But, um, do y'all notice those things with him? And, uh, and how do y'all feel about those things? Yeah, I think they can be fixed. I mean, they can be fixed with the same trainer. If you, um, if you go look at Gary Russell Jr. when he fought Lomachenko. Um, his problem in that fight was he threw all his punches at the same speed. He he threw same speed, same power. He had a pattern that he fought in, and he just kept repeating. It was almost as if it was a dance. And he would once he got through the steps of the dance, he just repeat them. And that and that cost him that fight. And that was something that as you watch you progress after that fight, become a champion, you didn't see Gary doing that. He varied his punch speed, punch placement. He didn't throw shots the same with the same power. I mean, you know, he, he did a lot to improve after that, and he did it with the same trainer that he that he lost that fight with. 
So, I mean, it, it could, it's something, especially being a young fighter, it's something that could be shored up. I mean, but I mean, if, if Ronnie was training him, we wouldn't be seeing that, in my opinion, because I've never seen a Ronnie Shields fighter fight like that. Look, just looking for power, you know, um, throwing everything hard, throwing the same with, with the same pattern, cadence in a fight. You know, I just that ain't something I've ever seen with a Ronnie Shields fight, even with a guy like Laura, who was left hand happy. He still varied his punches a lot, and he, you know, he he didn't have the same speed and velocity on all the shots. Can it be fixed though, or is it like? Yes. Go ahead. So you say he, yeah. he, he's so young. I, I have to say yes. He's only he's in his early twenties. I mean, will he fix it? I don't know. Amir Khan never. Mm. All right, uh, Piero Brim. Same question, and I go to show nothing up. Cause Sheldon already said, "Fire your dad." Um, I think, uh, especially uh, nowadays, um, certain fighters, you know, because like uh, uh, these fighters don't get promoted a lot. There's certain fighters that, that we see a lot, especially like uh, somebody like Floyd Schofield that, that's been on YouTube and like so like YouTubers would would know him a lot well than other fighters. Like we got to realize that he's still like what ten fights in. Like I think for him, it's it's all about experience. I think uh, he's not gonna look spectacular every fight out you know i think he has a lot to work on and yeah uh, um obviously um uh because he's so young like dilo was saying yeah it, it could be fixed you know he's, he's I, I just think um certain fighters that do have success uh re really early are just fighters that are naturally gifted you know they're just you know they just have they just got it you know and they and they pick it up quickly but most fighters you know it takes time it takes time and experience and it takes fights so i just think uh, floyd schofield is that so uh i wouldn't say that you know like uh, he needs a new trainer or anything like that we just uh, i think he just needs time Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. I don't, know I, don't what see, I, don't, I don't see anyone, but I hear you. Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree. I don't think I think it's a little premature to say, "Oh, fire!" Yeah, new coach, fire every. Nah, it's a little premature for that. You know, he, he's still in the developmental phase. He just happens to be so talented that we're already talking about him on a level that he hasn't even quite reached yet. So, yeah. It's something that definitely can be fixed. All right, show more. You said you need to fire his pops. Tell me why. 17 and 0. Uh, he's doing this, this lunging and leaving his feet, and doing all this dumb shit in the 17th fight. He don't some, have they should have already have caught that. Respect. They should have already caught that. And tried to start to to watch it. Show, I don't mean to cut you off. He don't have 17 fights, I don't think. He's Do 17 and 0. Look him up. Okay, 17 and 0. Okay. 17 and 0. Yeah, so they should have already caught this. I see, like the Kuro said, if he was 10 fights in or 8 fights in, I get it. But you 17 fights in and you a uh, little, what that international, they call that shit? International champion or whatever the fuck that is? 16 fights in, 16. So, uh, and you got Ronnie Shields in your corner. I'm pretty sure now, I don't know how long Ronnie Shields has been there, but I'm pretty sure all the leaping, throwing hooks, and jumping in and out. Ronnie Shields is probably going to point that out to him tomorrow or the next day because he's going to be out of action for about six months because of that cut. Because that cut was nasty. That was a nasty cut. I agree. It was in a bad area. So he's going to be out of action for about at least six months, maybe longer, so that heals up. And then uh, I'm pretty sure in that time frame, though, Ronnie will work with him on stop leading with your head. bro. You can't lead with your head. Cause he got cut in his last fight for doing the same thing, leading with his head. He got cut over the other eye. Yeah, man. And uh, I, I'll fight. Uh, I'll push back a little bit on you, uh, Brim, about him being that talented. I, I think it shows that he that he appears that talented. It's just you know I don't think he, he's. I don't. I'm saying he sucks. It's just like the. I think the, the fighters that we perceive that are that talented, they usually show you in, in the fights, and he hasn't shown that yet. I think he shows promise is what it is. Promise? <laughs> is that the word promise? That's what I would. I, I would. I would. Well, that's not. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't beef with you too hard on that, bro. 
<laughs> those are semantics though you said he has talent somebody else says he has promise those are those are semantics the kid is the those are like almost adjectives huh yeah, that's, that's but I do agree with one thing. I do agree with one thing you said, Mark. You said that he throws every punch with the same speed. That's definitely something he needs to work on. Yeah, because a like a a, 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 a more talented fighter could pick up on your timing. You throwing everything exactly. Face, got your timing down there, and got your timing early in the fight. Exactly. A more experienced, a more experienced fighter would would exploit that. That that's what I, mean, I should have look said. at uh, look at uh, look at the we can go back to the July 29th fight. And we saw we saw him executed in the ring. He touched you, touched you, touched you, then hit you with a hard shot. So you never know what's coming. Is it gonna be right? Is it gonna be hard? Is it gonna be right? Because he touched you, touched you, then hit you with a hard shot. Then touch you again and hit you with a hard shot. Yeah. Very speed variation. Very, mix it up. You, Don't let him know you, what's coming. I'm gonna tell you a young fighter I noticed who's good at doing that. Keyshawn Davis. Look who he trained with. No coincidence, right? He he's very good at that. Um, I'm gonna tell you who else does that sometimes. What's his name? Xander Zayas. I like Xander. He does that. Touch, touch, bang, bang. Like, and that shit is um the uh Vargas kids does do that pretty well too. Fernando's Vargas. Um, what's his what's it what's the one uh, not I'm trying to pick the, which one is both all of them really, but y'all know the one I'm talking about, right? The star, talk about Emiliano. Uh, Emiliano. Emiliano. Yeah, yeah. It's real cool. I like it. Let me take this call. Y'all. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Four seven five. You on the line? What's your name? Where you from? Isaiah from Connecticut. Talk to me, Isaiah. You got the flow. Yeah, not nah, um. You said what you gonna call it? You you said who who is his name? You said you say like you said Keyshawn, right? Yeah, I, I like the way he changes the pace. Uh, I mean, changes the speed up on his punches. When he gets in red, yeah, but it's look, like look, a touch, touch, then a hard shot, hard shot, and that, and I like the fact that he's working that on boy, that early on in his career. That boy nice, but look at look at Cruz, Andy Cruz, nice too. Yeah, yeah. And you see his trainer, that boy trainer, he he, he trained with um Bozzi. No doubt, yeah. He, he, he went in yeah, I, I, I'm not, I can't remember off the top of my head, man. It's it's late over here for me. But uh, good, Andy Cruz is good, man. I like Andy Cruz. But uh, what's your what's your take, man? Uh, I, the, the main topic uh, uh do we owe, do the fans owe Crawford and Eubanks an apology uh for that fake news? Also, um, who you got uh beating Zapata or can Zapata beat all these guys? Can he beat Shakur, Tank, and Loma or who can he beat out of that pack? Wait, you you want me to answer the second question? Or the first either question? one. Just get it done. <laughs> I don't know. Zapata, Zapata, um, he undefeated, right? Yeah. That boy, nice. I'm, I, I'm not going. He nice. He, he nice. I don't. When it, he in 135, right? Right. Is he he in the ring? Right. Yeah. He's number one. He's number one for the winner of Tank versus Martin, as well as the number one for. Loma versus Cambosis, so he can go either route. He definitely beat Cambosis. I don't think Cambosis is gonna beat Loma, dog. He, he, he ain't even on the no, menu. No, no, no. I don't know. Loma, I don't, I don't think he, Loma definitely gonna beat Cambosis, but I don't, I don't know. Can Loma beat that, Zepeda? That nice, can Loma but, beat Zepeda? There we go. Yeah, in my opinion, can Shakur, can Shakur be Zapata? I'm gonna be honest with you. That's just gonna be a, that's not that's just gonna have to be on my um, fight map this week. That's I a can't what? Really, I can't. I, I, that, that's just a fight in my head. To, I'm gonna have to watch. I can't. All I can't right. really. I can't really say nothing on that one. Shakur, yeah, nice, but Zapata know how to cut off a ring, and that man what? is relentless, bro. That's like literally overwhelming amount of punches what kind of condition in this guy have people talk about benavidez throw a lot of punches no this dude is on a whole nother plane but you know what get, of punches you know throw. what gets you tired in a fight too though Brent? what 
I'm gonna tell you what gets you tired in a boxing match, D Lo. Piro, you know what gets you tired in a boxing match? Missing a lot of punches. That's one. What's another one? Mm, I don't know. Moving around a bunch. Somebody wrestling with you. Wrestling in a boxing match gets you tired, bro. And Shakur is going to be tying them up and wrestling with them all night. Like all that rushing and, and all that. Shakur ain't about to be doing He's going to tie them up, spin them around, reset, and touch them. Touch them. I, I, I agree on the coach. And he's going to make them miss. Missing them big shots and just missing by inches. Oh, man, you get discouraged. Yeah. And then, and then, then like, but you then know what? It doesn't seem like he throws big that, shots. It's just like he throws mid-range, consistent shots. He don't, don't look like he'd be well in for the fences. Because he's right on them, and they don't tie him up. Maxi, you just they just high, most of these guys were smaller guys also, but he these guys just high guard up, and he start breaking them down to their ribs. Shakur oh, is going to tie him up. Shakur is going to grab him, dog. Shakur is going to grab him. And y'all know that. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I agree with you that he's going to try to grab him, Mark, but I don't think uh, uh, Shakur's a wrestler. I, I, I've never. I'm paraphrasing. Him. I'm a, that's semantics, Piro. Part no, it's not semantics because you're talking about tiring Part of fighters by wrestling. Oh, and yes. I agree. But grappling. He's going to grab him. He's yeah, going to hold yeah, him. But, tie his yeah. arms up. Nobody yeah. does that with Zapata. Nobody. Well, he's never. Uh, uh, Max Hughes tried to. Stop. All right, man. I'm out of here, man. I appreciate that. No, no, no. I'm just saying he did. did. Did he or did he not? That, that was one of the points I was trying to make, though. But I was trying to agree with you about the about the tiring he's not with the rest. Shakur, bro, and he ain't got no. He's not Shakur, bro. He's not. The I, I know, but Shakur is not a, a grappler. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He tied. He, he tied up Valdez when he had to. Does he be tying these motherfuckers up or what? That's part of his problem that people don't like him. That he he can jab and grab you all night long to victory. But he doesn't do that. I, that's where no, I disagree with you. I don't think he jabs and grabs. All right, fair enough. I ain't gonna no, no, seriously, because I, I know he, he, he attempts to when he has to, but what he tries to do is he tries to leave that uh the he tries to leave the arm out and then try to pivot out and and fucking you know move laterally. I Especially feel you on that, Piro. But when a guy is trying to blitz him like Zapata mm -hmm. was doing uh uh Maxi Hughes tonight, Shakur is mm -hmm. gonna tie him up and make the referee reset us. He's gonna slow the fight down. All that. Well, that's nah, why I disagree. Like, that's why I disagree. I don't think, he, I don't think he's good at that. that. I don't think he's good at that. All right. Well, I, I'll say this: Shakur has the best plus one. He, him and Bivol have the best plus minus in, in boxing when it comes to the top level guys. Um, that it, it, it's very, it's very unlikely that this guy is gonna throw a hundred punches around versus Shakur Stevenson. I it's mean, not. guys punch out put tend to go down when they fight top level guys. I mean, historically. I couldn't agree more. All right, well, Connecticut, I appreciate you calling in, man. Yeah, wait, what? Who, who funny? I was just talking about <laughs> a hypothetical nah, fight. A hypothetical like fight. <laughs> Shakur yeah, versus Zapata. We was talking about Shakur versus Zapata just then. No, that's a fact. Hypothetical. Yeah. Some hypothetical. Shakur, nice. Zapata, nice, but I don't, I don't know. Shakur last fight, that that's just that's where it's at right now for me. That's just, I don't know. The only fault is your last cut. Unanimous decision. So what? It takes two to tango, and he got a unanimous decision in that fight, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, but they were trash. Both. Yeah. He won it. Yeah. So what? He won a trash yeah. fight. Congratulations. They both hey, two. Got to win those two. Got to win those two. They can't all be pretty. Come on, B. <laughs> Thank you, dog. Yeah, you, you're right, but you can't be pretty. That was worse. Yeah. You can't be pretty. But ironically, yeah. y'all was just praising Shakur about his new uh, offensive style, and he's da da da. He has one. I never did that bullshit. I ain't talking about you, but I'm just saying. Many people. Sorry, sorry. Many people were saying, "Yeah, man, look da 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 da." da. And then he has one performance where the guy does the guy standing there waiting, and he's standing there waiting. Okay, well, I just went around with a jab. Hey, Mark, you know what it made me think about? Y'all, you remember the big fallout after Pacquiao Mayweather, everybody in up, up in arms about how to fight when what they thought. And I, I scratched my head like, and I was like, I, I don't know why y'all thought this fight was looking any different. The, the, if it, and if the fight wasn't exciting, blame the guy who was the come forward fighter, Mr. Excitement. He, he was the one who couldn't get, to, get his stuff going in the fight. The other guy did what he always does. Defense first. 
Yeah, but unfortunately, that unfortunately that was a certain amount of punches was thrown in Mayweather Pacquiao, and then compare that fight to the worst fight of 2023, isn't it? Oh yeah, most definitely more punches thrown in that fight. It was a lot more exciting than that fight. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just talking about before like disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, because everybody wanted to see fireworks, but they, they you should have known that Mayweather was going to pot shot him to death. But, that, I mean, this, that fight was horrific across the board. Across the it board. Yeah, well, how y'all how y'all, how, how y'all felt about that fucking T.O.P. Mo fight? That was, a, that was only one step above, above Dookie. Which one? <laughs> yeah. It Why y'all feel he got robbed? I felt like he did. Hold on, what was the question? What fight? T.O. versus who? Ortiz. Jermaine. Jermaine Ortiz. Who, who won that fight? Who, who y'all feel like the one? Nobody. I'm trying to forget. In my the team, fans team, lost. In my the fans team, lost. I thought this little Jermaine was fucking him up. or My, my apologies for my niggas. I thought this little um, Jermaine was, was whooping him. Until he got hit with that headbutt. And then that's when, you know, blood was getting out his eye. He couldn't see. I don't know. But in my opinion, Jermaine won that. Yeah, I thought he was. I thought he, I thought because of his name, anybody else would have boxed T.O. like that. People would have said, oh, he yeah, boxed him. It's a clinic. You get what I'm saying? Um, I was killing the rounds with him. But it did get to a point later in the fight. And I remember we was watching. I don't know who was there with me, but it was. With, on the panel, but I definitely remember watching that fight with uh, Rachel and Donito Donaire and some of the members of the neighborhood clips was there and all of us was like and I think Donito was commentating that fight for us, so he was like telling us what, okay, I think he should do this calling the rounds and shit, and I was like yo, champ, I was like, you are right, he, he was like, he needs to separate himself, he needs to do a little bit more you know, get what I'm saying you're doing good, <laughs> but, you make, but these are close rounds and they can go any way. You can't let them, can't give them a reason to take it from you. And he was, it was nah. times where it was we're like about, about, Jermaine Ortiz. Or it was times about, where I'm talking about Jermaine Ortiz. It was times that Jermaine Ortiz was content with um, his defense um, being his offense instead of, okay, you need to lead sometimes. You can't just let this guy keep leading. Push him back, push him back some more, especially in the later rounds. You need to separate yourself. Because it was close. By the way. And I thought he was in incredible shape. I didn't think he looked tired at the end. Of, I don't know why. Maybe he, maybe he felt that shit that T.O. was laying on him too, you know. And, and that that made him a little apprehensive. But I thought he could have pushed the action a little bit more. Say so what? And the scorecards is crazy. Yeah, now I did think the scorecards were a little too wild. But I appreciate you, Connecticut. Thanks for calling in, man. You're more than welcome. To call back anytime. Uh, Salute. You. Shout out to Connecticut. <laughs> But his name is Connecticut or is he from Connecticut? He's from Connecticut, man. I should have asked him where in Connecticut he's from, you know. What? Why? 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 You want to go on a date or something, nigga? Like, the fuck? Why, see, why you have to be disrespectful? <laughs> I should throw something at your ass through the damn phone. <laughs> that nigga was like, I want to know where he's from in Connecticut. Maybe I was, was wondering, man. A, a fellow fight fan is in the same state. That's all. Don't. Uh, why you have to take it to, to take it to homoerogenous <laughs> levels, bro? That wasn't necessary, bro. Stop demanding. Stop. <laughs> he just wanted a beer, Mark. He just wanted hey, a beer. Mark. But it's something that you said, Mark, that I picked up on. And you're right. See, the problem with the Shakur Cepeda fight is that Shakur Stevenson has way better footwork than Maxi Hughes or anybody that uh, Cepeda's ever fought. So I believe that Cepeda's punch output will go down because Shakur has great footwork. Now, the question is, does Cepeda have enough footwork to cut the ring off? Because that's what he's going to have to do against Shakur. Can he do it? Is he he, to me, that? he looks like a straight line guy. He doesn't look like a guy with great footwork. To me, Zepeda looks like a straight line guy. Is he going to get past that jab? Don't know. Don't think so. Against Southpaw, so the jab is going to be the, the, the dominant uh, force in this fight. Is he going to get past that jab? That's the key. That's the key. I want Does you to he have man up and show us something, bro. What you mean, man up and oh. show us something? 
He a three division. All Shakur got to do is yeah, win, bro. He a three division. Yeah, okay. yeah, but bro, ain't nobody gonna pay. Me, ain't nobody gonna pay to watch him if he's gonna put on boring fights, bro. Nobody's gonna pay to watch. You gotta give give me some entertainment they value. That about I, I predict, who I money they, have a, they uh, said that same thing about Floyd. Well, but that's why they went away back and he was born as a motherfucker. See him lose. So unless unless Floyd Shakur Stevens box, is gonna go to bad, unless Shakur Stevens is gonna go to bad boy route and make everybody hate him and want to see him lose, then that shit ain't gonna apply. Mayweather had a formula that worked because he knew that he couldn't have punched the way he used to punch when he was younger. So he said, you know what? I'm going to talk a bunch of shit, make everybody hate me and love me, and they're going to want to see me lose, and they're going to pay for the fights, and that's how I'm going to get paid. It worked. Shakur Ooh, Stevenson ain't doing mom, that. Mayweather was talking Floyd shit while he was knocking people out. Floyd was knocking, mother, still knocking shit loose and was talking shit, bro. Bro. Outside he, of Hatton, who did he knock he was, out, bro? He was talking. No, he was, no, you said I'm gonna start talking. Like you, you said, he was gonna pick the bad guy role later. He was, he was talking shit back when he was fighting Corrales, bro. When he yeah, was, but he wasn't a bad, but he wasn't a bad guy back then, bro. They he was treated, bro. He had the women charges like a beating women back then, bro. Yes, he was a bad guy back then, allegedly. No, but yeah, he was talking he shit when he knocked out uh, Gotti. He was talking cash shit then. Yeah. Hey, bro, yeah, he he was on the he's, a, he's a C. He's a C. Great. He said he's a C. Ray fighter. I'm going. <laughs> bro, you in line though? Boy, talk just as much shit as money. You talking cash shit about Jose Luis Castillo? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, he been you know, that, the no, first fight though was, was a real dicey one. But he been you know. talking shit, bro. He yeah, yeah, about but, Castillo, though. Yeah, he been talking that shit, man. So, uh, well, yeah, see, yeah. Well, okay, well, well, whether he did been doing it or started doing it even heavier at money made with a level. At the end of the day, Shakur ain't doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. He ain't talking the same Don't shit. Don't insult money, baby. He, he over here over talking about, I'm going to retire. I'm coming back. Like, come on, bro. Okay, wait a minute. He disappointed, wait a minute, wait a minute. He disappointed me, on. man. Uh, That's a bad argument, bro, because so, uh, he did that. He on so, so, no, Floyd, right just there, Floyd retired and came back. No, but he this, Brent, this guy Brent, did a Brent big turn. Actually left eight, eight, here and bro, there. you're wrong. Oh, so let yeah. me ask you this, Graham. Hold on, let me ask you this. Yeah. What you talking Zepeda about? Is the number one contender in two sanctioning bodies, right? I think you're right. He's the number one contender in two sanctioning bodies. Neither is the WBC. Well, we all know it doesn't matter what belt you have. If you want to make the fight, the fight can be made. I agree. My question is, if you beat that guy, what can they say? This is the number one guy. You beat him. I think Zepeda's a tougher fight than Frank Martin, dog. <laughs> or Ryan Garcia. Or Ryan Garcia. I agree. Garcia, right I, agree. I agree. I agree. And it's a tougher fight than uh, T.O. fighting... Um, Jermaine Ortiz. This would be the toughest fight that any of them had lately. I'm gonna have to agree with that. That dude is relentless, bro. He's like yeah. a, he's a machine. He's an actual machine. I'm wondering if he's human here right now. <laughs> the only thing that that relax. gives us, only thing I see that's gonna be a problem is does he have the footwork against these top level guys to cut the ring off? Yeah, because we that's haven't had this here. we haven't seen him in that position yet, so it's a question right. mark. Right. So if he can cut the ring off. With his volume, now he's a problem. <laughs> but we don't know if he can do that. I mean, I, I don't see. Does anybody have more volume in him in boxing right now? Because it looks like he. I mean, I was watching. I'm like, dude, are you gonna? I'm expecting him to take a break here, and I'm like, this dude's just not stopping. This dude is throwing like 120 punches around. This is ridiculous. I'm like, oh my god, Max. Did you know one thing that pissed me off about tonight's fight? What pissed me off is that Max Piero got, got, got a fight for the mic. <laughs> what, what, Max, did you, you see that though, Piero? Did you see Max? He was cooperating with this dude. Um, no, nah, I, I thought um, th this this is what I told everybody, and I don't, uh, everybody was on. Uh, oh, he robbed Cambosa shit, so I get it. Maxi Hughes was okay. never good. Was never ever ever good. <laughs> I knew I knew this. I, I knew uh, uh, Cepeda was gonna fucking mop the floor with him, and that's what he did. So at the right. end of the day, I still he think he's really, really terms, good. Though. It's just like, I mean, off of Maxi, uh, off of Maxi Hughes win, yeah, nah, he's, come on. He's, he did what he's supposed to. Well, I'm saying at least yeah, tie Max, him up. I mean, goddamn, yeah, Maxi Hughes did fight on his terms the, fully. And this dude is pricking your guts out. Just, just tie him up. Grab him. Tie him up. Slow him down. Do something. That's what nobody talks about. Zapato's really good at breaking the clinches. Maxi Hughes is not good at clinching. 
And that, that too. But I mean, I'm talking about other fights. Mm, because unfortunately, with all his volume, uh, 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 fortunately, with all his volume, all of the fighters that face him have to, have to have to have to try to clinch him. Every fighter that he's ever fought has tried to clinch him. Because he's a fucking uh, a whirlwind, a buzzsaw, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't think he fought nobody ever like on the level of Shakur Stevenson, bro. He There's has it. He has it. Right. Uh, uh, on Shakur Stevenson's level. He ain't seen nothing like this. He hasn't, fought, he hasn't even fought a, B, a high B-grade fighter yet. Shakur is a, a stylistically. He fought Jojo Diaz, dude. And that's the best win on his resume, Mark. That's the best win on his resume. His best was a B-. minus. He's a C. He's basically a C C C minus now. You disrespectful, bro. No, no Jojo's good. I thought he'd be Devin and all. You know, nobody agrees with what? him. I thought he'd be Devin. Oh, come but, on, uh, bro. Go to bed. Shelton knows this. I, I fucking debated this on H1. Yeah, he did. we uh, debate about that shit all the time. But anyway, you know, it was, it was a close fight. Was it was very entertaining, but, you know, it was. I don't know what Pipe Puro was watching, but that he believes that Jojo won. He is those who didn't believe he won that fight. I know. That's, that's, I don't. That's what a lot of people tell me. But at the end of the day, just because you don't know, believe it doesn't mean that he didn't do it. Oh, yeah. Piro, you need to go to bed, bro. Night night. Uh, bro, nah, bro. you don't want to debate God, me, bro. Bro. I just relax. Anyway, yo, bro, um, you, you saying that you need yeah. to go to bed? Um, <laughs> get him, Piro. Take. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm fucking Scout, bro. Piro, no, take his scalp, um, Piro. <laughs> no, uh, no, Zapata's good. You know, um, I just, I don't agree with, like, uh, on Shakur's level. I mean, everybody knows, like, fuck, everybody knows I don't think Shakur is any good, you know? Yeah, he's a three-time division champion. I give him all the flowers in the world for in unified him as he beat. But, yeah, no, nah, he's like, you know, like, don't, like, like, Brim was trying to insult him, like, saying he's like Floyd. Nah, he ain't <laughs> no, I'm just saying, goddamn. Who said that? Uh, I didn't say that. I'm just saying, goddamn, Maxie Hughes just cooperated with the dude. Just stood in front of him, trying to go punch for punch. What did that clinch this yeah, dude? He's trash. What are you doing? He's trash, bro. He's trash. He, he he's going to beat your brains out. Just clinch him once. Just tie him up. He looked like a mouse fighting with a damn, you know, like a like a wild tarantula. Animal. Yeah, like, no, oh, not even a tarantula, like a cat. You know how, like, a cat kind of played with his food look? But you see the mouse yeah. struggling. Yeah. Or like, yeah, or like you, a cat playing with a ball. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, like his his fighting back was for survival, man. He was just getting destroyed in there, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Killing the pose. Yeah. I like I big, a- man. Hey, look, and when they give you a guy like Max Hughes, uh, on a quick turnaround, because Max Hughes, like I said, a lot of people thought he won that Ken Bosa's fight. This is what you go in there and do, and then and you make. One that like, well, well how's Cambosa's fighting for a title versus Loman? You should be fighting one of those guys. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And that's the problem. That's the problem we got. <laughs> Go ahead, speak on it. I'm sorry, brother. No, I'm just saying that's the problem we have. You know, we gotta. I mean, because Ryan don't deserve the, the Devin shot. Pitbull don't deserve the Roly shot. Roly didn't deserve the fucking vacant title shot. I mean, it is what it is in the sport. You know. You complain too much. Well, I tell <laughs> no, you, I don't. What? I don't. I'll tell I'll tell you what, uh, Puro, I tell you this. Yeah. Ryan. One fight on the 30, Pitbull and Roly deserve each other. Bum A versus Bum B. <laughs> yeah, because well, because uh, Pitbull's not a bum though. Because like, yeah. I mean, like everybody know Tank is the truth, bro. And like fucking, Tank, I mean, like, he give Tank work. Nah, but some people say he lost his last fight right there on the spin. He probably. lost in the Hollywood yeah, dude. He, he, Piro, you watched he, it with me. He was on the phone. Oh, you know he lost one? to that Hollywood dude. He I lost to that Hollywood dude. Which one? The Hollywood dude on the 29th of July. July. On those on the great American fish fry. Oh no, no, no. I watched that one with clips and, and no, bro. I mean, like uh he lost to that dude, bro. He did not lose. He did not lose. I don't know. That like people that don't know what like they're looking at, they think that people there, lost. Man. That dude like, is no lost. good. I've been telling you. In, I was disappointed in Cabrera because he looked so trash, but then he 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 uh he made up for it maybe like the last third of the fight, maybe like uh ten through twelve, like he fought better. Cabrera, but no, people people was never in danger of losing that fight, man. I've but been Cabrera's trying to tell you people are free and trash. Nah, he ain't trash. I've been, try- I've been trying to tell people that he ain't. He's why do you think people ain't going to fight him? He's like one of the dudes that I would say, yeah, that's why people don't want to fight him. Okay, so when Brody knocks his ass out, oh <laughs> Brody's probably going to knock his ass out. Nah. Because he's I'm trash. Gonna tell you this. And I'm on a roll, Shelton. Uh, it's it's okay. going to be just like Peta and Maxi Root. Okay. <laughs> Nine eight oh, you got the flow. What's up, Charlotte? Meow. What's up? 
<laughs> What's good? All right. Somebody called the meow. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. That was weird. Yeah, he uh, yeah, no, he's garbage. It's, it's, it's gonna be a, a, a Maxi Houston pay to watch. It's gonna be a mismatch. Wow. Okay. We'll see. I Guaranteed. think Pitbull's gonna knock out Roly. Yeah, easy, easy work. Roly's gonna have a tough time dealing with the smaller fighter. You think so? That and, yeah, that I mean, he's, not, and he's not defensively sound enough to keep to keep Pitbull from landing them bolo punches. Because the thing is, Pitbull's <laughs> a one-dimensional brawler, bro. He's a one-dimensional brawler, but Roly is not a good enough boxer to take advantage of it. Uh, yeah. I can think of Ed Roly's at, at the Pitbull Cruz's spot in his career. Roly go catch him with a retard uppercut. Yeah, but the, yeah, how you gonna uppercut? You gonna uppercut that small man? He ain't gonna be to do that. Stop. You gonna, hit the top, you gonna fuck around and hit the top of his head and you gonna break your hand? What you say, Puro? <laughs> no, I said I can name you uh, uh, ten Rollies that Pitbull's fought early in his career, and he fucked him off the floor with him. He's fought Rollies. He's fought tons of Rollies in his career. He's fought tons of Rollies. Yeah. Yo, early, I, early, I, I, early in his I, career, tons of them. I think well, you know that ain't really. You know, I'm going to that card, Pure. You know, I'm going to that card, right? Nice. Now, that's lucky. I wanted to go myself, man. I'm going hey, to that we, card. Hey, that Chuck sure. Davis card. I'm going to that. I gotta go to that. Okay, but, sure. Yeah. You know, that's not the fight I want to see. You know the fight I want to see on that little card. You're doing what Dino said. You're moving, the, you're moving too fast again. Let me say oh, something about it. hasn't even been officially announced yet. Hey, look. Let me what? say something about this. God damn. Never mind. Fuck I'm sorry. Sorry. Go. No, no. Go, go ahead, Mark. My bad. Wait, what hasn't wait. been officially announced? What are you talking about? All the fights for that card. The card, the fight, the Tank Davis-Martin fight that's is happening June 15th at T-Mobile. Yeah, but that's, that's the not the fight, fight I want to go see. Announced. I'm going to see the Benavidez Vostic fight because I got Vostic beating Benavidez. Ooh, bold prediction. It's not that bold, oh. but I mean, they're taking that fight for a reason. So, but I mean, Vostic is good, though. That's still a bold prediction, though, bro. I got Vostic beating him. It's not that bold, Ben. Did you see what Vostic was doing to Better Be before he, knocked, he got knocked out? Yeah. It's, it's still a bold prediction because yeah, I remember the man didn't fight for almost four years ago after that. He yeah, fought three times last year. He yeah, took his soul. Uh, yeah, but he fought three times <laughs> against, against, against Joe Plummer, Bobby Bubblegum, and, 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 and Billy, 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 Joe, Billy Joe. You know what I mean? Yeah, you but me bro, you got to be reason. honest, bro. Benavidez just started fighting people about a year and a half ago. You ain't lying. He just what? started fighting. People. Yeah, what people, he was what fighting. People? He was fighting fucking Tommy the Tool Man too. <laughs> Lost to Tommy the Tool Man. Lost to Tommy the Tool Man. For real. So, come on, man. <laughs> hey, he hey, just started fighting decent competition. He just started doing that. Go, go ahead, four seven five. Yeah, y'all got y'all got Dummy V that's losing. Yeah, y'all are fucking. Shelton, Shelton said that. Yeah, I got bit of I got Vostic beating him. Bit of Vidas has never fought at one seventy five, and this guy is a legit seventy five pounder that can box. Yeah, but you gotta think though. He fight so he, all he gotta do is make one sixty eight. After he make that one sixty eight, he's rehydrating. He's fighting in the ring. No, they're fighting at 75, bro. He ain't going to have to rehydrate that much. He's fighting at 175. Exactly. Exactly. So he, he a big dude. If anything, he's going to be hitting way harder. But let me ask. Let me let me enlighten you on something, young buck. Big dudes get beat up, too. <laughs> well, he got to prove it to me. Oh, uh, he got to show me. Cause this ain't goddamn boo boo, this ain't plant, this ain't no motherfucking Anthony Durrell that you're fighting. You're fighting Alexander Vazdik, and Vazdik can fucking fight. And he's and Benavidez has never fought a real puncher yet. Yeah, he ain't fought no guy like this. This guy can fucking fight. Hey, what, hey Carla, where in Connecticut you at? Four seven five is the Connecticut number. Where in Connecticut you at? I, I'm 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 gonna I'm, I'm gonna call I'm gonna call back on um, Benavidez with his ass. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I told y'all. Where in Connecticut you at? He asked twice. What Oh, <laughs> dirty water. Okay, that's what's up. Huh? I said the dirty water. That's what's up. <laughs> he curved you the first time, bro. That. He was like, "No, nah, I want to know." New Haven, bro. <laughs> Ooh. 
Be, bro, you want to know that y'all want to meet up and yeah. go to a fight together, or you know y'all want to kick it? Shut up, Mark. Shut up. I'm just trying to show my fellow DT. Mark going too man. far with it. Yeah, yeah, he's going too far with it. He's tripping, he's tripping, he's tripping, he's tripping, he's tripping. Like, I want to go to a fight. He's doing that because he, he just doing that because he know Georgia be doing that type of stuff. He's trying to put it on CT. Don't do it. Put that no, on. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, like what? Do y'all anytime wanna, I hear no, anytime I hear a fellow fight fan from Connecticut, I'm gonna chop it up with them a little bit different. Let me have my moment with my my Connecticut brethren, bro. Stop the madness. Let's spit his bars, Mark. Let's spit his bars. It ain't even bars. It's just a Connecticut a fellow yeah, boxing just, fan, a Connecticut brethren. Let me shoot a shot. Let me shoot a shot. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shoot um, my shot, y'all. Just left me to the floor, bro. One seven five. What's your name again, bro? Isaiah. 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 His name is um uh, his name is unbiased friend Brent Reaper. Hey Isaiah, I'm gonna need you to call in on uh June 15th that night. I'll still be in Vegas, but uh I want you to call in because I'm a, we gonna go live and I'm gonna uh let you know how your boy did. You said what? Call in June 15th. The fight's June 15th, so call in that night after the fight. I might go I to will. that shit too, bro. I might go to that shit. Nah, Benavidez not losing. He bet not. But if he but, wins, but if he wins, he got he got, to, he he got, got the winner of Bivol and Baturbia. He gets the winner. That that should be hard. That that that's, that's if he wins, he got to win first. Mark Bivol. That's if Bivol or fucking uh, better be don't retire after that fight, bro. I mean, these guys are like Bivol. Uh, is closer to retire. What Bivol's like thirty one. Biff was like 31, ain't he? He's 32. Nice, he's 33. 32. Or he's young. He's Biff ain't going yeah, nowhere. But like, undisputed, he ain't moving up, bro. Come on. Yeah, man. He's been in that division. You know, what, you know, well, you you know, know. Saudi, you know the Saudi uh, Turkey, Alashi, keeps saying he wants the winner of that fight to go up and fight. You Shot know, for time. I know. Yeah, I know. That's what he like. <laughs> right? I don't know, because Biff was really a small, like, heavyweight if you look at him. Yeah, he's, he's not, not a big, big guy. guy. But Turbiev can go up easily, but. Yeah, but Turbia is a cruiserweight. Turbia fought a cruiserweight. Yeah. This was a small light heavyweight, so I don't really see him moving up. I don't see him having to. Yeah, I mean, he know, may. Y'all know, yeah, know that he has like 38, right? Yeah. Does he look 38 in the ring? Probably, that's the Wolverine right there, bro. Huh? Does he look 38 in the ring? Hell no. <laughs> okay. Exactly. <laughs> Wolverine ain't aging yet. You said what? I said the Wolverine ain't aging yet. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, they tried that fucking wait, aging him out shit. They saw that shit didn't work. <laughs> I mean, but I, I'm, I'm glad that um, I'm glad that Benavidez is going up though. He done. He done waited for Canelo too damn long. Oh like, yeah, I'm happy about that too, bro. I agree with that. Fuck Canelo. Waiting for Canelo he he should have not lost the belts in the first place. He would have had to fight. So I don't know about this waiting for Canelo bullshit. Hey man, come on, man. It's, it, you don't, you don't find nobody, it bro. ironic that Canelo did not move up to 68 to say he wanted to be undisputed until Benavidez lost him belt? You don't find that not ironic? Not ironic, no. Well, do you find it ironic, right, when WBC old corrupt Bahams was about to actually sanction and order the mandatory, I mean, to order his mandatory status, he goes up to 175? There's a lot of ar ironic situations on both sides. That's why I would call them both cap and they all bullshit. Yeah, what I find ironic is they keep giving this guy uh, some uh, eliminators for title shots that he's not going to take. I'm, he's Mr. Interim. You know, yeah, I know. It's like, come oh, on, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, Mr. he's, he's Interim, following bro. the boo boo blueprint, bro. I mean, I think it's pretty fucking clear, Mr. Yeah. Interim. Okay, oh, yeah. well, like as I said before, I'm glad he said fuck Canelo and moved up. Stay up there, don't come back. He didn't Yo, say fuck Canelo because he's keeping the Yo, interim. Once a if you can Yo, win the belts up there. Y'all know if y'all listening, y'all from the outside looking in, somebody would think y'all don't even like boxing, bro. Y'all just say, <laughs> <laughs> he ain't, he ain't that good. No, no. I'm just saying I don't like when people uh I don't like when people hang around trying to fight one guy. Everybody's trying to fight one guy. Fuck that guy. Move up. Fight somebody else. Just keep fighting. <laughs> Boo -boo. Stay active. Man, baby, for the outside looking in, someone would think y'all don't even like boxing. Y'all talk about I love boxing. Oh, I'm saying y'all just like triggering me with this y'all shit. 
No, they would say that they don't. They would say motherfuckers don't like Canelo. That's what they would say. Not like we don't like boxing. That's what they I would say. I love boxing. Y'all been bashing everybody, man. I've been bashing no, everybody. Motherfuckers yeah. need to fight. They need to fight more often, like and they need to fight I'm the guys I want them to fight. If I'm paying for it and I want to watch it, they need to fight the guys I want them to fight. Yeah, that's the thing. Or don't buy the fight that they put on if you don't want to buy. Exactly. Exactly. And I don't. They fight that don't want to see. I don't buy. Or don't buy the fight that they put on if you don't want to buy. Exactly. And I don't. The fights that don't want to see, I don't buy. But the fights I do want to see, I either buy or I go to them. Mm, true shit. You, you buy pay-per-view? <laughs> Hell yeah. This is a fight I want to see. I don't like buffering, bro. I don't like chasing. I don't like chasing crack streams all over the goddamn computer. For real, I don't like bro. that. Neither, neither do I. Me neither. That's why I got. I, I want to see the fight. I, I, I don't want to take the stream. I'm not gonna buy every, any little thing though either. You know? That's why I have my subscription to the Zone and ESPN Plus. So hey, same. Yeah, if it's a fight I want to see, I'll pay for it. If it's a fight I don't want to see, like that shit that's happening in Dallas, Texas on July 20th, I'm not paying for that bullshit. You know, date though, you remember? You saved the date though, nigga. You hey, saved hey. the date. <laughs> no, July the date's 20th? in my head because 20th? it's been all over the TV. Oh, but I'm, I'm not paying for that. It's you don't have to pay for that. It's on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix you on suicide watch. Oh, it's, it is on Netflix. You're right. Well, I'll be watching uh, football or basketball or something. I won't be watching that. Yeah. I guarantee it's gonna be more than thirty million people to watch that shit. Oh yeah, Netflix is everywhere, bro. He's just well, thirty million. The thing is, we I think we should watch it as boxing fans because I think this is is, is deeper than this fight. I think it's about trying to bring uh, boxing back on uh, uh, on a big time platform of that nature, where they could be able to host a big fight. And Thank not you, have a pay per view and Thank millions you, of people watch it. That's the That's worst way to do it. The worst way to do it. Nah. What you say is the worst way well, to do it, but the thing is, they're not going to get involved unless they know that he's got monetary value. And Mike Tyson got monetary value, and Jake Paul got monetary value. You know. Here, the here's the, the question, Puro: Is hey, Mike hey, going to hey. adhere to the rules, or is he going to forget? Stop it, B. Y'all heard, y'all heard about that. Y'all it heard doesn't about matter, that. Shelter. It doesn't matter. We all know what this is. What is it? It's just for money, and it's cool. That that I, I'm not mad at them. Do you think it? Do you think it's only for money? You don't think it, they don't think there's nothing? There's nothing going on. What that made, what they, what they, else could it could it be for? I, I mean, you, for money. Wait, wait, Mike Tyson is seven years old. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you actually think that if Mike wanted to get this guy out in two or three rounds, he couldn't? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Do I, you like, think Jake Paul has evolved enough? That he can last two hard rounds with Mike Tyson. Yes. Are we forgetting Mike Tyson's so. last professional know. fight? I, I don't. I don't. I don't, think, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hey, that sounds like. Know. That sounds I, like. I don't know if this guy. I don't know if this guy could ago. beat Kevin McBride. That's why y'all got. I don't know if this Jake Paul guy can beat Kevin McBride. I don't know that. All I know is there's like nobody, there's the fighters on the shelf that they could put on instead of like Mike. Hold on, hold on, no, no. Let me say, let me, let me speak on I'm this sorry. real quick. Bureau, ahead, understand this. Yes, sir. When you say they, you're talking about who? Netflix? Maybe Netflix don't want those tons of flight fighters. We want right. Mike versus Jake Paul, and let's see if we can make some money off this boxing thing or boost. Our, are we going to boost our subscriptions? Are we going to get more people just tuning into this? But here's the thing. I think it's nothing wrong with putting that fight on a platform like Netflix where we can possibly bring big time boxing back to where we can just open up the app and watch it. It's built in like on some Showtime Championship boxing type shit. Like because right. we don't have it in temperature. We don't have boxing on terrestrial TV no more, other than whenever ESPN feel like putting it on on a Thursday night. You get what I'm saying? I get you. And I'm not I'm not mad at you. You know, a Heisman weekend. We got his and, and, yeah. and Puro, I well, think, think that that's part of the reason why they're doing it. I don't think they're just doing it for the money. I know they're doing it for the money, but they're, they're, I, I think what happened was it was when Paul and Tyson got to the table and said, listen, you know, Netflix, you know, we'll make this fight. But if this fight's successful, maybe we can bring more, you know, bo- regular boxing to your platform. MVP, right. MVP promotions. That's and right. then they can bring and they'll bring real fighters over, build their profiles, and then be able to have them on, the net, on Netflix. Hey, Amanda Serrano is going to be over there on Netflix. That'll be dope. And, That's and good. He, and he ain't going for more than Yeah. 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 MVP promotion. Like I said, uh, this fight only only uh, um, 
kind of like gives uh, a lot more views to to their niche, which is like YouTube YouTuber boxing, like amateur, you know, like all the other dudes. Like they they have plenty. That's that's where all the fans are at, the American fans at least, and that's cool. I ain't tripping, but I mean, like that's like not true. Actual though. boxing, it's not. Well, Netflix, that, we don't know what's gonna happen with the Netflix. I think this is a show, it's a spectacle, but also understand this, Puro. You didn't like the Saudis being in boxing. You don't like Netflix being in boxing. Showtime and HBO is out. Like, what? What are you? As far what as the American, fuck do you want Piro? Basically, is what he's saying. You I mean, to be well, the Saudis haven't the done anything. You want Piro? So, I mean, boxing to I fade care. away in America? They're already fading away. No, oh, it's already gone. Like boxing's already gone in America, Brim. Like, it's you gone. Like, it's, it's gone. You don't like the Saudi fight? Uh, I mean, they haven't put on any good fights, bro. You smoking fucking rocks, bro. The fuck you mean, Piro? <laughs> bro, their main events were exhibitions. What are we talking about here, bro? Bro, <laughs> like, bro. Are you kidding me with this shit? Bro, bro. Ganu versus bro. Tyson Fury and AJ versus Tyson Fury were their main events. Those are what exhibitions, bro. You had, you had you have been there, done that. No, no, no. Yes, wrong. That's AJ, not wrong. That's right. Let me tell you something, bro. Didn't AJ fight uh, Usyk in Saudi? That's a unified yeah. heavyweight championship. Didn't yes. Wilder get his whoop by Joseph yeah. Paul in Saudi? That's the real fight. Ray Vargas. <laughs> Ray Vargas versus Ball. Title fight. That's That was a real fight. Yeah, but these are fights that, like, like, the, the casuals don't even know. Like, like, at the okay, end of the day, they didn't put on... You know about Usyk like, and Fury, right? You, okay. you know Usyk and Fury, right? You know, you know, Baval and Baturbiev, right? Th those fights yeah. wouldn't be These happening if it wasn't for him. So sit your nose, bro. They're putting fights that nobody wants to Nobody see. knows who Usyk and Fury is? No, no they no. don't. Sure. Bro, sure. the number, the proof sure. is in the pudding. The proof is sure. in the numbers. Well, nobody well, knows who Fury sure. is. Bro, 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 slap bro, yourself bro. now, Piro. Just bro, 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 I don't need to slap myself. Y'all don't want talking crazy. Not me, shit. do all of that. Slap yourself. Trying to up like a, what's it called? Exhibition boxing, bro. Floyd does that. Floyd's cool. Piro, Piro, I just named a couple undisputed fights and a unified title fight over there. That that's not a that's not an exhibition, dog. But more importantly, I know it's not. I know it's but more importantly, when you say nobody wants to see it, I don't. Oh, casuals, I don't give a fuck about that. I'm talking to you, hardcore boxing fan. Those are two undisputed matches. You should you should be happy to see them. And if it's okay, what well, people don't know. Okay, well, okay, and here's the good thing: you get the you can get to watch it on pay per view, or or. Or not, you get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, but that I know. I mean, you don't gotta tell me that. But my point is, that was, but my point is like, it ain't gonna be no like. It, at least it's in Saudi then, where people want to see it. Because over here, it would be empty. It wouldn't provide the guys the money that they deserve for those type of fights because people don't know them. So over here, people gonna put the money up, and we as fans, hardcore fans, get to see those matches. This is a good thing. Like I can't believe that you're upset about it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not upset. I'm not, I'm not upset, Mark. You guys are upset. You guys no. are upset. You guys are selling me no, out fucking crap. I'm, I'm, I'm not upset. I don't care. I don't I'm care. I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm calm. I was like, uh, I, I'm just. No, no, I know you're calm, Mark. I know you're calm, Mark. But I'm not upset. I'm not upset. Well, it maybe works. upset is the wrong word. Maybe you. But I can't believe you don't like this or don't see it's good for boxing. We're getting uh, mad. Up to this point, no, I don't like it. Up to this point. Up to this point. Yo, I want to hear this. Y'all cutting them off. I want to hear this. Why? Stop cutting them you off. Know man. This. You Hold know up, bro. Hold up. You know this. Hold up, bro. Puro, hardcore fan, tell me why you believe Saudi is bad for boxing when you're getting undisputed matches that we wanted to see that these guys wouldn't get paid for here in America. Tell me why. Well, because like most people uh, will come up with that argument, like you just said, like we want to see, like we is a lot of people. We is not just the people that say that. Like we is like we is we like I, I don't think obviously uh these fights have to be uh, made over there one there's two the two problems one these guys aren't really known like that yeah uh people uh hardcores that are interested in 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 that particular fight yeah okay that's cool that, that's good for them and and i'm not even tripping that they're making it. that's cool but i'm just saying and then two the the reason i i, I think uh we don't get a lot of these fights is that a lot of these guys are entitled pussies bro they get paid way too much than they actually deserve and, and to be honest, it, it, that just kind of conflicts the problem. But at the end of the day, I'm not mad at it. You know, I just, I just don't. You know, I don't, I don't particularly think. You know, they're doing it. Uh, they're doing it. I mean, the guy said it right. I think somebody told, pointed out to me that the guy's dying, so he's pretty much has a lot of money. He's just he wants to put on fights that he wants to see in particular because he's about to die. 
All right. Um, y'all can pass around. I just wanted him to get the answer in full. Go ahead. It's open back up to everybody. My bad. Thank y'all out, for of four, out of those four fighters, there's only Thank you, one Mark, for letting me go. P. There's only one entitled P out of those four fighters, and that's Tyson Fury. Usyk is not entitled P because uh, in every fight, title fight, he went and got belts in different in other people's backyards. Bivon Baturbiev, I don't think they're P's. They're not P U S S Ys. So there's only one that, that you would that what you said would possibly qualify, and that's Tyson Fury. It's called hyperbole, yeah. brother. Well, I'm calling facts. Just saying. Yeah, it's called hyperbole, bro. They're obviously not pussies, bro. <laughs> Goddamn. Money yeah, too. Yeah, but they're not entitled either. Only in Tyson Fury is shown to be entitled. Nah, they're super entitled, bro. I mean, like, I mean, if and that, that was another point I wanted to. Um, I mean, not not push back on uh, on Mark, but like he was saying that they deserve this money. If they really deserved it, they didn't, wouldn't have to go all the way over there. Hold up, Usyk has fought every single like title that. in somebody else's backyard, bro. I'm talking about the money, not the title shots or anything like that. But Usyk has never had a problem to just get, to, uh, make, making a fight until he dealt with Tyson Fury. So that don't sound like somebody is just entitled. Dilo said that he had like... a, uh, that um, that he uh, it was um, it was delayed with AJ. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's something there. I, I I thought was crap. I didn't believe. I mean, it. I, I didn't think I didn't agree with it either. But I mean, some people think it. Well, thinking and knowing and being a fact is two different things. Yeah. Hey, man. That, okay. That's a big fact okay, right Kiro, <laughs> wait a minute. You just said, I just heard you say a few minutes ago that nobody in America knows who Usyk and Fury are and nobody cares, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so if nobody in America knows who they are and nobody cares, where do you think they were going to get the most money for the Undisputed Fight? In America or in Saudi? I don't think it uh, would have got made if the Saudis weren't around. Okay, so it's an undisputed fight. We haven't had an undisputed heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's called prize fighting. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I, I know. So if all I can the get a bigger prize from, from you I than I can get from you, <laughs> why? Why would I not do that? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not mad at him for doing it. I'm not. Go ahead. Do your thing, man. He's like the guy's dying, and he putting on fights that he want to see. We want to see Bill Paul versus Kirby. If we want to see an undisputed heavyweight champion, and like, yeah. show you, like if yeah. you can't say on one hand, you can't say on one hand they don't. Nobody knows these guys, but then on the other hand, say, well, why they got to go over there to get their money? No, no, I, don't, I didn't say why they have to go over there. I know why they have to go over there. But you because give a fuck. The fan, other than it, uh, only reason no, I don't give a fuck. I'm just responding to a question, Mark. My bad. I mean, uh, you should go. Mad is uh, is if you on some damn. I wish I was at this fight. I want to go, but I I can't afford to go to Saudi or I'm, I don't want to go to Saudi. Like it's just too far. You get what I'm saying? But other no, than no, that, I, man, you should just be glad you're getting the fight that you want to see. Like, yeah, the only one I want to see is uh, Perturbiev and Bivol. Uh, the other fights I can give a fuck about. Why not? Do you you uh, don't know. heavyweights? I, I haven't been a heavyweight fan for a long time. Yeah, but you don't know who's gonna win this fight, and this is boxing history. You are a boxing guy. You this is your sport. This is history. No, I, I, I I understand. That's why I said like like truly like like you guys think I'm mad. I'm not. I'm just saying you know it's like I'm mad. You know? I'm mad at you for for not liking these Saudi fights. And saying no, nope. they just exhibition. Like well, nah, they were exhibitions, Mark. They were. AJ fought Usyk over there for uh, uh, AJ fought uh, Ruiz over there. Yeah, those were, and, but those were those those were like one offs and shit, you know. Yeah. Every fight, go post movie. It's a one off, bro. Uh, no, it's not go post movie. It's not go post movie. Oh, but but why did they go there in the man. first place? Because they Google were willing no to good. pay the the inflated fee that they that they wanted. Is, is what I'm trying to say. That's why I call it wrong with that. So what? They got it was a it wasn't an exhibition. You moving the goalposts. You no, say I, I'm saying that the fights that they put in on right now with this current uh, uh rehot season or Renaji season, whatever they call it, That's those have either. been all. I was not true, brother. Main events have been exhibitions. Bro, the, the AJ the AJ fight uh Otto Walling was that an exhibition? Was Parker? I said their main events. I said their main events. That was the main event. That was the main event. That was, that was the main event, Piro. 
Yeah, but that was the fight nobody wanted to see. Oh, no, man, go to bed, bro. You said it was an exhibition. Bro, you said it was an exhibition. That was not true. <laughs> like like I, said, I, said, I, said, I said, I said the majority of their fights okay, have been man, exhibitions no, you, or main okay. events. Okay. They have been, have they not? Bro, I name, bro. They they've had two exhibitions. The rest have been big fights. It's only been two exhibitions. Oh, oh. Yeah, but that that was their big fights. Was their no, exhibition? That's what they tried two. to sell. They that's what they more. sold. That's what but they bro, sold for the sir, exhibition. Only, sir, that's only been two. They had exactly, room, exactly, had and room. that's what I'm saying. At, at the moment, at the reaction. moment, I don't like how they're moving. Pure, you're being reactionary, and you're no, just trying I'm not, to. Bro, I'm, I'm trying to make my point. Down for you. I'm make my point. You keep moving the goalposts. You said it was all. I'm moving the goalposts. It. And then once I say it's not an exhibition, your response was, "Well, that's a fight somebody don't want to see." That's no, moving but, the but, goal, it, but, it, but it's not. It's not. Nobody ever wanted to see Waleen versus AJ ever. Sir, but it's not an exhibition, which was your original. I, I, I understand. No, my, my original point is, is that all they're doing is exhibitions. Two out of the three of their main events have been exhibitions. That is it's been more than three, sir. You forgot and you Andy Ruiz versus Joshua. Unif Bro, they Unif were not Unif advertising Unif themselves as a, as a savior of boxing at that point. No, sir. It was a fight in Saudi Arabia. Same place. That, exactly. That's all it was. It was a fight in Saudi Arabia. That's all it well, was. Well, the unification title is not an exhibition, and it was yeah, a fight. I, I wasn't talking about those. I wasn't talking about those. Parker Come versus on. Wilder was a real fight. Co-main. That was a real fight. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't a co-main. I mean, come on. Bro. It was the co-main. They He came out and lost, and AJ came to the ring. It was a co-main. Co-feature. You don't, you don't believe that? No. Okay. Lord have mercy. Well... Even though they I said, I mean, just because I don't agree with you guys, it doesn't make me crazy. It's called right? the Come on. Co -main, but it's called it was called the co main. Yeah, they called it a co main, but it, I mean, come on, bro. I mean, I know what I'm looking what? at. That's Wilder versus Parker. That's that's definitely a co main. That could have been a main event by itself, bro. No, hell no. Come on. Oh my god, Parker is more accomplished than Helena. Yeah, Accomplishments don't mean nothing at this point in their careers, bro. Like it, it, it was a fight. Helena, they made bigger. a fight. But Wilder versus Helene was uh, was a main event, so Parker and I, Wilder got to be a main event. And, and that 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 um strengthens my point, Mark, is that they called it a main event. But Helene versus Wilder is not a main one. event in nobody's universe. Okay, but that that wasn't Saudi that did that. America did that. I understand. I, and, and I didn't bring up. I didn't bring up. I didn't bring up Helenius. You did. So who's I brought, it up, I, brought, I brought it up because you said Wilder versus who taught you, how, who taught you to hate you, yourself, brother? See, see, no, Wilder versus <laughs> Parker. You said that that's not no main event, and I just brought up Wilder's last. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, okay. see, see, he's just cracking jokes. See, I'm trying to talk boxing. Try, no, I'm, no, I'm talking boxing, but I just couldn't help myself because right? no, it, it uh, applied, right? Come on, you know you wanted to laugh, Mark. But anyways, yeah, you moved the goal. Nah, right? No, damn, man. I, I'm on Helenius. Helenius, let me speak. But I, I, we can move forward, yo. I see what you're doing. Cap season. Well, uh, 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 oh, season. okay. I see. I see what I'm doing now too. Doing what? What everybody else does normally when I'm talking. I cleared the lane for you and everything a while ago. You did. Like, you did, and I and I and I thank you for that. And I you won't let me speak none. But it's so, cool though. We uh, can move forward. Uh, uh, move one out of a hundred times, bro. I, I still appreciate it though. Nah, it's cool, bro. We can move forward. I know it's cool. We cool. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, old. It's just a disagreement. I, I respect you guys. It's just a disagreement. We, That's all. Yeah. Boo to Piro. Yeah, boo. This nigga just won. Hey, bro. I mean, yeah, sometimes I just got to fall didn't, back. I didn't bring up. I didn't bring up fights that had nothing you to do with the argument. You know, I'm argue. not even I'm throwing tomatoes at you. I'm throwing tomatoes. Y'all the ones. Y'all the ones that want to argue. To argue that, shit. You know? Like when somebody press them on it and then they try to filibuster. I see what it is. Nah, but, nah, nah. That's what y'all do. That's what y'all do. But I do, I do remember a, 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 a young man with a bucket hat, like maybe two weeks ago, saying, "I appreciate you not always agreeing with me and giving me like you know good pushback." I do remember. Uh, yeah. That. Maybe, maybe I was going crazy. I'm still that same nigga. Like I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a conversation though. Like yeah, I know it's a conversation. Y'all getting triggered? Y'all getting triggered about this conversation? You don't hate everybody. Oh, I'm calm, man. Y'all mad? Y'all mad? Calm, dude. Like I was trying to refute your points, but in the process, you you start who taught you to hate yourself instead of yeah, letting I, me. That, that one that was on me. That one was on me. You I just couldn't. You don't, want, you don't want to talk about it, so it is what no, it is. No, I do want to talk about it, bro. I don't like, like the Saudis for really, whatever. Really, really, you want to take cutting me off the whole the whole panel. Oh, and I'm I smoke crack, go to sleep, all this shit, bro. He's cutting oh, you off. Oh, 
You know, yeah. and he has a bad mic. Mike, get him. Uh, Mark, get him. I think he has a bad mic. Right. Are mics bad? Always. Is it bad right now? Hold you. Nah, it's all right, right now. So what's wrong with it? Nah, nah, but uh, yeah, it's just a disagreement, though, Mark. You're just I'm going where you're going. He's feeling like distracting, um, you know, deflecting. It's a lot of those tactics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I know him well. <laughs> clearly. He learned, he learned from Yeah, clearly I know him well. <laughs> but anyways, no, no, so seriously, though, it's, it's, yeah, I just disagree. That's all. Hey, Mark. What's up, bro? Who you want to see boost against next? A live body. He said, <laughs> Brim said a live body. Man, I don't know, bro. I don't even know. I don't know, bro. Uh, who do you want to see him next? Nah. Honestly, boost, boost nice. He, he, he real nice. I, the thing, the thing with Crawford is, I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't mind seeing him and Crawford, but I, I don't want it right now. Like I wouldn't take that. I feel as though he needs, need a better fight. You talking about Boots staying like, at one forty seven though? Like, no, nah, brought he, Crawford up. Like, but Crawford he, is leaving one forty seven. But if he gonna stay at one forty seven, he gotta see Boots. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see nobody but Boots if he's staying at one forty seven. I, def I definitely want. I definitely want to see that. I feel as though Boots definitely got the skills to beat Bud, but it's like he ain't got the experience. Crawford just whooped his eyes. I was like, damn. I'm yeah. a, I don't I like all. <laughs> but here's the thing. Spence is a lot older than um, Boots and more weight drain. I think um, and, he, and he had a lot of damage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That I just knew I just knew he wasn't going to beat Terrence Crawford, bro. One night, drunk, car crash, you know, partying. <laughs> All of that shit, man. He ain't about to beat Terrence Crawford. Hell of a guy, though. But um, he ain't about to beat Crawford. So, but my, hold on, hold on. So, my point to that is, Boots is different. He's not Errol Spence. But what I will say is, if they fight at one forty seven, man, that's gonna be a tough fight for Crawford, because especially with he already saying that. But like, like, but Boots, if I was, I think Boots uh, should he should chase him. I think he should be more vocal about it. I wish he was on Twitter, Instagram, saying, yo, I want Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford can't retire from boxing before he see me. I don't care. We got to fight at 54, 60, 60. Yeah, I want him. You know what I'm saying? That, like, I think he should be more vocal about it. That's just me, though. I know some are going to say that's not his personality. Yeah. Well, shit, this is the prize fighting business, bro, and you got to sell yourself, and you need to chase it's that white whale for a little bit. You're right. Boots not really vocal like that. He just, he, man, he get in there, he get out. That's it. But what I don't like that. What I don't like is they trying. I think they giving him barrios right now. I don't want to see that. It's fucking boots gonna kill him. I don't. I really don't want to see that hurt. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, what y'all think? What he got kill him. He got to kill him. Then go kill him. Don't tell me you can do it. Show me you can do it. Go beat him. You know who I would really want to see him fight? Centillion. This is best competition in 147. Giovanni Centillion. Giovanni Centillion? Yep. Centillion. Yeah, the guy just beat up uh he just beat up Rocha. the other dude who let me out. Alexis Rocha. Rocha, yeah, he just beat Rocha. You know what I want Boost to do? Man. What I want Boost to do is follow, like Mark said. If you really want Crawford, Crawford move up to 54, you move up to 54. Follow. Him. If you really want to fight. But he don't. That's a pipe dream, though, <laughs> now, uh, at this point, though, man. He, he wanted a vacant belt. He got what he wanted. Y'all seen, seen um, Antoine Russell? Who? Antoine Russell? It never heard of it. Yeah, I, I heard of that guy. 
Oh. I mean, I've heard of him, but I uh, I think the last time he fought was in you know seventy four. Ain't he a part time boxer? I think that's who that is, right? Who? I'm t- I'm talking about I'm talking about um Gary Russell Brothers. Yeah, I know the one that uh, again. Gary he fought, what, How many times he fought in the he last beat, three beat, years? Three times, two times. He beat Bo- yeah, but he the reason why we got to blame, uh, like Piro said. He said, I don't think Roley deserved the title shot in the first place. Got to blame uh, him for that fight because he, he, then he stepped aside. Then he was like, nah, that guy ain't, don't bring nothing. And then that's how Roley got the chance for the WBA title, right? Good points. You talking about Info? Yeah, a little Afro. He ain't since October 15, 2022. Say, hold on, say that again. Say that again, Brent, for the people in the back. He hasn't fought since October 15, 2022. October 15, 2022. And who he fight? Oh, actually, no. This might be the wrong person. Hold up. That, is that Gary Antonio? That's Antonio. I'm sorry. That's the light skin one, right? He got. Didn't he get knocked out? Or go? Oh, they stopped. Uh, almost, almost, almost. Almost. Yeah. Yeah, he was getting his ass kicked anyway. I he was on. His, he was on his way to Lonely. Well, he fought. No, he fought August 12, 2023. Can't what did cruise. the family do, man? All of them, they're like on the shelf, bro. Because their father died. He was the patriarch of that family. So I do got to, you know, show respect to that. You know, that does. No, mad respect. Mad respect eh? You know what I'm saying? And and when the father is like the trainer and, the, you know, he's he's everything to you. Shit. Y'all seen Gary start shifting into that role, you know, yeah. and, and coaching the brothers and shit. That It takes a lot. I'm sure it takes a lot. And, um, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, I'm talking about when he was alive, though, Mark. When he was alive, these guys were like very inactive. Well, no, 2022, yeah. he fought twice. Oh, really? Yeah, he fought yeah. Victor Postal in February. Twice, then, huh? Uh, Rancis Bartholomew in July 30th, and he got KOs of both fights. And then he fought Kent Cruz in August the 12th. Before July that, he was having the health issues before he died. He got his legs amputated, too. So it was a lot going on. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, Carol. But, you know, they started, started being inactive when the father started getting sick. He's been sick since, like, 17 or 18. Am I right, Mark? He's been sick for a while, man. Like, yeah. and, and those amputees, man. I mean, those yeah. amputations uh, throw him back, and then he died, and then, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's, yeah. Been, it's been something. You know, he, he, he fought five times in 2019. Like that. And then I don't even think some of those, the two younger brothers, were they even pros? Like, when did they go pro? Uh, and Gary Antonio's been around for a cool minute. He's just at the lower weight. Right? You know, said, though, Gary around. Antoine fought five times in 2019. Wow. That was pre-pandemic. Everybody did that. <laughs> No, I'm just making a good point, but I mean, Mark, I no, might be reading too much into it. I think Al no, put everybody's on the shelf. Like five I, times a year, Puro. No, 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 no. Especially I mean, PBC guys. Point, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I said especially PBC guys. They don't be fighting on no five times a year, bro. But but I think pre-pandemic, like they they were more active. That's the point I was trying to make. Like uh, after the pandemic, but but the point I was originally trying to make. You make good points about the dad. I might just be reading too much into it. I just always thought like Al, Al has it in for him uh, for some reason. Conspiracy style. Well, I mean, and I'm not really big on conspiracies, but I mean, it's just like uh, all the interviews I watch with like Gary Antoine and stuff like that. It's just, he like complains a lot about that, you know, kind of like throws like not like says like uh, says it like directly, but you know, you can just tell. It's, it's a feeling I got, but maybe I'm reading too much. Floyd about beef, it. that beef with Floyd. Yeah, that, and then uh, him wanting to like hey. fight Tank or something like that, or I don't know. Hey, Mark, what's up? <clears throat> Daniel didn't fight anybody. So what? Daniel didn't fight anybody. He's semi-retired. He's fighting to get off the show. Huh? He's step aside, Kane. He's semi-retired, bro. Yo, his name should be Step Aside Stanley Onis, bro. <laughs> All he does is he sign a fight and step aside. Sign a fight and step aside. <laughs> Oh, Marcus. His last today. fight was almost two years ago. It'll be two years ago in a month. He's he too good. In a year and 11 months. Too good for that, man. He's too good for that. I agree with him. I hate that for him. But I can't want more for him than he want for himself, right? Yeah, yeah. Because some people, 
Say, nah, I ain't taking no step aside money. Nah, I don't. Mm -mm, I want my shot. I'm gonna win this fight. And they go out there and get it. Hey, caller, I need, I need to take my phone with me to the kitchen, man. I'm about to make me a sandwich, so uh, you gotta call back. Call back. Uh, Y'all cook up. I'll be right back, man. I need to grab this sandwich out the refrigerator, man. What kind of sandwich is it? Hey, look, when they take that, when uh, the guys that say they want their shot, they don't care what mm. the split is. This nigga Brim said, what kind of sandwich is it? <laughs> <laughs> weird, uh, nigga, I'll be right I was going to laugh, but the pause was, was better. Why got to be weird because I asked you what you heard me, girl? Yeah, That's weird. I'm sorry, but you heard me, you heard me, girl? What's up? About, the about guys the, that really want uh, their uh, shot at the belt, they don't care uh, what the split is. Yeah. But the um, I, I agree with you, but I, I would say that the guys that would actually be put in that position, they're never put in that position to even get that shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of the only like the, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, Shelton. I'm pretty sure you have, or maybe you haven't. Like, there's only like a few fighters that anybody talks about, and they're the only ones getting these shots. You know, and these are the ones that are like, you know, always like on Twitter and saying, uh, oh. You know, like uh, he tried to lowball me and shit like that. You know, he's trying to like negotiate on Twitter and shit. I think what sucks for him too is I think that the step aside money be more than what they was willing to pay him for the actual fight. Facts. You get richer but do a step aside than you do fight. So why not? Because you don't, you, That's you don't mean shit that we talked about it before, man. I, I'm used to like these dudes fighting each other, bro. Like, like money, money is always an issue. Obviously, like, uh, like. And that's, I still when, remember back in the day, you know, like talking about that. But I mean, it was never like the focal point, you know, like eventually. It happened. Yeah, well, money has been what an issue in boxing since, since it started. The fact is, these yeah. dudes, number one, these dudes think they're worth more than they really are. Facts. <laughs> number one. And number two, if you really want a title shot, see, that's the thing. Some of these guys are there's a few guys. I ain't going to say some of them. Yes, sir. There's a few guys that are in this shit to be the best and for titles and to actually test their skills against other top competition. Sugar and then you got the rest of these guys that are in this game to get paid. Yeah, man. And I get it. Trust me, I get it. But um, you know they don't care about the belt. They don't care about the titles. They just want money. Yeah. And that's what I, I was trying to like the one of the points I was trying to make uh, earlier is that like, like before you really had to earn a payday. Like, I mean, that, that, why, why do you think like all the fights happen in the lower weights, bro? Because they don't get paid that much, bro. Like they literally got to keep fighting to get paid, you know. So we get the fights we want down there. And that's why New Way's so dope because he's getting paid and still fight, making all the fights, no issues. Yeah, because he's fighting in Japan. If he leaves Japan, he won't be getting paid like that. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one getting paid. I'm sorry, he's I'm the only one getting paid, though, Brim. I guarantee if he comes back, is a fact. He, he ain't coming over. Ain't nobody going to give that dude no five to eight million dollars over here in America for no 122 pound fight. For the right ain't fight. nobody getting that. For the right Chaka fight. Tito, none of them dudes. Gonna, no, Nito right wasn't fight. getting that. Ain't none of them dudes right. getting that. Yeah, for, yeah I agree with Shelton right on that one. Yeah, yeah but not for even the right, for the right fight. fight. Not even for the right fight. I guarantee if Shushu is still, it keeps on coming up and they want to make a fight and bring it to America, they'll pay him that to come to America. No, they will not. No, they will yeah, not. They will. They will no, not. they will not. Them little white dudes don't get that kind of money, and you know it, Bram. Cut the cap. If he was, they don't get if that, was popular, if he was popular, if he was popular, maybe, but he won't Shushu, get popular. If Shushu gets popular, then Shushu you know, ain't made a million dollars yet. Yeah, Shushu no, ain't gonna get no money like that, bro. The American fan don't watch Shushu like that. That's the thing. Like, if, if it was like maybe like you know ten years ago, okay. Yeah. The American fans trash. Is basically, what y'all saying. No, I don't think they're trash. They're just, they're just not watching this particular version of boxing. They, like the casual has gone to like UFC or watching like YouTube boxing and shit. Yeah. They're just not. They don't watch. They never watch. Well, like, we had a Zuma Nelson and Salvador Sanchez and uh, uh, Explosive Thin Man, uh, Alexis Arguello, those type of dudes, Roberto Duran. We didn't have UFC and we didn't have Bare Knuckle and all this other shit competing for the space. We didn't have Jake Paul having his own promotion and competing for the space. Boxing yeah, was it. Exactly. Yeah. Now, and, and America's right. love goes. Kind of, you got, you right. got motherfuckers. You got the UFC. Look, last week, the UFC fight, that motherfucker, Sean O'Malley, and whoever the fuck it is he fought, whatever the fuck that was. Cheeto Vera, no? They packed out the fucking uh, T-Mobile Arena. They packed it out. Yeah. 
14 million dollar game yeah. and they and do that on the regular yeah and there's currently only two fighters in america that do that and that's ryan and tank they do that on the regular 14 15 million dollar gates on the regular yeah. boxing ain't doing that yeah and you make a great point though shelton about the ufc and bare knuckle like americans love those sports they love yeah. them the motherfuckers that in our age group, the motherfuckers in our age group are aged out. The motherfuckers yeah. that's consuming this combat sports are younger than us, and they yeah. grew up on UFC. They grew that's up with Ken Shamrock and all them dudes. We was already old men when Ken Shamrock was fighting. At least I was. Well, I was grown, <laughs> yeah, I, I was grown. I was grown. I was already an old ass man. I was in my damn near thirties. I was in my thirties when Cameron Shamrock. Shamrock was when, when Shamrock came out, two thousand and two. Ah, two thousand and two. I was forty something. Damn, man, <laughs> so you're, you're even I older. Was my, yeah, I was in my. You were old. I was in my twenties in two thousand. Yeah, yeah, I was in my shit, 20s as well. a, yeah, they don't give a fuck about boxing. I bet you they know who fucking Sugar Sean O'Malley is. They know who the fuck Conor McGregor is. Walk down the but streets not, in Connecticut where you live, bro, and ask. Ten motherfuckers who is Devin Haney and see how many of them know who he is. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. In fact, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a hundred people poll and I'm gonna write down yeah. the list of They don't know that dude. Five they don't know Errol Spence. They don't know Terrence Crawford. They don't know none of them dudes. No, a lot of them know those two guys. They might. They still might not. They might. They might, yeah. No, it's a 50 50 with those two guys. No. no, I'm telling you. They would have sold a lot Even more. They would have shown in the numbers. Bro, bro, bro in the numbers. people, people are in the numbers. Like, you understand? I live people. in Los Angeles, oh, California, God, the streaming bro. Arguments. I listen to these idiots telling you not to stream, bro. I ain't the streaming. I'm li I live in Los Angeles, California, bro. I know at least 10 people that watched the fight that didn't pay for it. At least 10. Bro, yeah, listen to me, bro. the beginning of the sport, bro. Listen to me, bro. I live in Los Angeles, California. And I'm telling you for a fact. You could take Terrence Crawford right now and drop him off in the middle of the Fox Hills Mall tomorrow on a Sunday, and nobody would know who the fuck he is. Real shit. Yeah. I nobody. Agree. Nobody. And that's not on Crawford either. I know a lot of people try to put on Crawford. That's on Bob Aaron, bro. You could take Errol Spence boxing. and drop him off next to him, and nobody would know who the fuck he is. He no, did Texas though. You can't do that in Dallas. No, I'm not I'm not talking about that because I, I can say this. This is this is my point. I can take Sugar Ray motherfucking Leonard anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And drop him off. And they'll know who the fuck he is. Mm hmm They'll get mobbed. Hey, I'm gonna name a uh, can you, I want y'all to name one fighter that most even die hard sometimes don't even remember that you truly love. I'm gonna name one. Michael Carbajal. That was my fucking guy, bro. Yeah, 118. Yeah, Michael Carbajal, bad boy. That was my Ricardo, guy. I Ricardo loved Lopez. him in the ring. Ricardo Lopez. Okay. You know who my guy was? You gonna remember this name, Piero. I know you gonna remember this name. Hmm. Gennaro Hernandez, rest in peace. Oh, yeah. Rest yeah, in peace, Hernandez, Gennaro. Uh, um, George Paez, El Maromero. Um, Jorge Paez, the clown. Six Head Lewis. Uh, yeah. Fucking, let me see. Uh, Stevie Johnson. Two, Mark, Mark Two Jones. Jones. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of like huge fighters. Kevin that, Kelly. Like, <laughs> motherfuckers won't remember. Kevin Kelly was a little bit. Kevin Kelly. Yeah, no, I, thought for a minute, I thought he was going. Oh, for a minute, I thought he was going to beat. I thought he was going to beat. Uh, uh, not seen for a hot second. But you know who my dog was back in the day, though, right? In the '90s, who my dog, my dog was. Who? I said, love motherfucker Simon Brown. Yeah, Bad motherfucker. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a fighter Brown? that hardcores won't know who the fuck it is. Did you say Simon Brown? Simon Brown. Bad yeah, motherfucker. I remember Simon Brown. He was a good fighter. Yeah. Hey, he was a really good fighter. Yeah. No, but my, no, listen, though, but for some reason, Michael Carbajal, though, that was my. Yo, I love watching his fights, bro. And he was extremely. He put the lower weights. He put the lower weights on the mat. Yeah, him and, he him actually, him and people, uh, I was so mad about the rematch with Gonzalez. I felt like they cheated Gonzalez, him, Gonzalez, bro. Yeah, exactly. I, I swear you know what guy, guy used to guy. like a lot though. Oh. You remember this guy, uh, Kuro? Guy used to like a lot was Yaki Lopez. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yaki, yeah, of course. I mean, he's like a, a like a little bit before my time, but I mean, I've watched yeah. I watched a lot of his fights. Just watch like Yaki Lopez, yeah. Danny Little Red Lopez was my guy. Little Red, uh, Jose, Jose Luis Ramirez, you know, like everybody. Jose Luis Ramirez. Early in his career, I used to like Vinny Paz. Early in his career too. Vinny Paz was a bad man. Yo, he Greg he follows me on Twitter too, man. I was like, yeah, that's dope. I was like, oh, Vinny Paz follows me. <laughs> he don't know you exist, bro. He just hit follow. Why you? Why you? Go, why you? Why you? Why you raining on my <laughs> I'm parade, with bro? I'm fucking with you, bro. Why you raining on uh, my parade? Uh, you know what? That's I, Bruce, I would love that's to Bruce Cassis' homie. Real. He just interviewed him. He just interviewed him. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did it like last week. Yeah. I would. Do, I, I think you know what? I think I'm gonna start doing on my little channel. I think I'm gonna do like. Uh, fighter recaps like fight career recaps i think i'm gonna cover michael carver i'm gonna think i'm gonna go go through his whole whole fight catalog and do a little do it like a do a recap that'd be cool you might get a bunch of views for that too michael i think i'm gonna do that huh huh, yeah. huh? johnny tapia was a bad man johnny tapia was a bad was, man yeah, was tapia, was pretty tough. tapia was a, was a shit, man you know who I was really like good though around that time. You know who was really good, and people don't they forget about him because he was a white dude, but he was really really good. Who? Boom boom. Yeah, Mancini. Come on, man! I always boom, remember boom boom. boom, boom. boom. You, know boom. Was you know who was better? You know who was better? Kim. You know who was better though? Uh, Greg Haugen. Everybody forgets him because Travis. Oh yeah, he was yeah. And he was good. He was good. Yeah, yeah. He was good. Yeah, but Boom Boom was my guy, though, man. But I, I, I listen. I, I did a battle rap and used bars with him <laughs> with Boom Boom Mancini and the Duke <laughs> Kim. Yeah, yeah Boom that was, Boom was easy that was work for Hagen. That's the reason why they got that fight. That was reason why they got rid of fight. fifteen rounds. Yeah, but when Boom Boom fought Hagen, Boom Boom was already old. Yeah, he was yeah. already past it. Yeah, but still, you know. He was past. He's already old. For real, for real. Like, how can he gets forgotten? I think he was thirty. Everybody like thirty-five, thirty-six at that time. Like, literally, everybody Yeah, he was like thirty-seven. He was old. Yeah, no, he was out. You he know, was, little was, guys. When they, you, know, you get away with that when you're a heavyweight, but when you're little guys, when you get thirty-five, usually you, you, you usually get beat. Yeah. You know, or take a lot of punishment. Yeah, because those, those guys, are, you know, especially in those days, man, they were fucking great. Were, but you remember that Duke Kim fight? That was an excellent fucking fight, bro. Yeah. Of yeah, it that was fight. man. Right, it cost I mean, man his life. Of course, it was excellent. Yeah, I mean, he died. He died because he was such. That's a not the reason why it was excellent, but I mean, you know, yeah. it was just that was that brutal. It was that you know. It was a brutal yeah. fight. Though. You know what? You fight know, was like, another fight that was yeah. recently brutal. I forgot to do the Japan that fight. That fight. The the fight. The undercard fight that was on the. Uh, oh the yeah, yeah. He died too. Yeah, uh, that, that fight was. Yeah, that was ugly. Yeah, yeah, that, was, that, was, that fight was so good. That was such a good fight, man. Rest in That's peace sad. to that brother, That's man. Sad. That was a, that was such a good Duke fight, man. That, that fight was so phenomenal, man. I wish he didn't die, man. Because then that could have been in the archives forever, man. That fight was. You know what? Ugly. You know what trips me out though? It trips me out that uh, that Matias killed that Russian kid, and it hasn't changed him one bit. I think it's changed him. I don't I think so. It. I noticed it, Shelton. He looks like the same guy. I, I uh, the first time I noticed it was uh, the last fight where he won the championship versus the Argentina and they quit. Like the Argentina was piecing him up, bro. Yeah, but, but yeah, all that shit pieced up. Yeah, no, all that shit changed around round number three. up in the fight. Hey, girl, all, all that shit changed in round number three when he got hit with the uppercut, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, but, but that's he the thing, though. Like, the, I don't know. Right. Then he just turns the top and start whooping your ass. I think he's a bit hesitant. I think he's a bit hesitant that he used to be. That's all I'm saying. I tell you what, let me ask you guys this. That's what I want to ask you. Do you guys give Liam Perro a chance in this fight? I do. Yep. Yes. I do. I, yep. do. I give him a chance. I give him a puncher's chance. And not because it's a little bit more is like bad or, or whatever. Like a lot of people are like uh, hate on Subriel a, a bit. And I, I think it, they're, it's unfounded, but I think Leo Perro is pretty good. I just, yeah. He's going to have to counter well in this fight. He's got to move but I think Subriel's going to win. I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm going for Paro in this one. Subriel's gonna stop him. Yeah, I think he is too. Yeah. Because Liam Perro doesn't move well. He doesn't move laterally well. That's he's gonna stand in front of Subriel. I said he's going to, and, have to move. Yeah, he's gonna stand in front of Subriel because he only fights one way, bro. He only fights. Subriel one. He's like feet, though, so I don't think he 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 has to have like the greatest feet to. Or I don't think he has. Yeah, to he's the like William Zapata. He's like Jose like. Zapata. Those dudes fight one way, and <laughs> if it ain't good enough, oh well, we are gonna die right here. We're going to die on this hill. 
I'm not changing this shit up. This is what I do. And if it don't work, oh, well. <laughs> I mean, you you always told me, Shelton, like you have two plans, plan A and plan B. If they don't work, yeah, go back to plan, plan B a. don't work, go back to plan A. <laughs> exactly. no, plan B is plan A. Plan A times two. <laughs> no, because I heard that from, uh, who told us that? Uh, Tommy Brooks told us that. We asked Tommy Brooks. We had him on Mark Mark me. Show one time. Mark told me. I don't know about no yeah, Tommy Brooks. Yeah, Tommy Brooks told me I had to use a Mark show one time. I asked him. I said, uh, oh, okay, okay, how many okay. fight plans? How many fight plans do you give a fighter when you train him? He said, I don't. Want, I give a fighter two plans because I don't want him to get confused. I don't want to give him too much information. I give him Plan A, and I give him Plan B. If Plan B don't work, I go back to Plan A. <laughs> yeah. And I actually think uh, the game plan is a bit over over i wouldn't say overrated like i think people look into it too much i i think um uh, a fighter's ability to adjust or what he sees or what his opponent gives it is like the the most important in a fight like it's like the, that's what makes bug literally. so special because yeah. bug can make those adjustments in fight right in the middle of the fight you make adjustments that's what that's what oh, makes okay. any fighter like a winner to be honest in my opinion yeah this is what he's doing okay i'm gonna do this that's what makes Floyd so fucking good, bro. Like, like, uh, uh, yeah, you like, can adjust to the fight. Could, that's what makes Floyd so uh, good. He can adjust to any, any fighter, fight. to any fighter. That's that's why I like Floyd. That's, uh, you saw it on display. You saw it on display when he fought Zab Judah. You saw it on display when he fought Shane Mosley. He had to adjust mid fight. Okay, I gotta adjust this. I can't do that. Shit, fucking versus yeah. Maidana, bro. Versus uh, Danny, By Maidana, uh, he had to adjust. <laughs> and listen, this is exactly why I be telling people y'all be overrating Mel. Because Mel can, is a good fighter, but he don't make adjustments in a fight. He makes adjustments from fight to fight. He can't make him fight adjustments. I disagree. Oh, Jamel? Yes, he doesn't make good in-fight adjustments. Yeah, he makes fight adjustments ball, from fight to fight. I disagree. I, I I think he does, but I, I don't think he's just as good as Floyd or a Bud. I, I just what, think he's maybe mediocre he at it. it? Where did he make an in-fight adjustment against Harrison in the first fight? Where did he make an in-fight adjustment against Castanio in the first fight? Come on, man. He didn't make an adjustment. That's why he, the fights turned out the way they turned out. I, I don't I don't put it on uh, on uh, Mel. I put it on Castanio and uh, T Tony. They didn't allow him to. <sighs> that means you ain't good enough then. That means you can't make adjustments because you ain't good mm. enough to make them. Come on, bro. You make him an argument for uh, me. I, I, I mean, I, I get I get where, where, where you're coming from. So, like, I, I won't, you know... Uh, bust your chops too much, but uh, at the end of the day, bro, I mean, the fighter has something, the other fighter has something to do with, you know, it's kind of like ties into what I'm telling and Shelton about, like, you know, like literally that's what wins you a fight. It's like, okay, this well, guy's doing this. Make who, who does do that? It. The other I fighters don't... can't make Bud do it, so that's the difference between them and there. They're great between no. great and good. No, but that's the thing, though, is that like, just because a fighter makes you do it, that's that's literally like what I'm trying to say, is that like, just because, just because, yeah, Floyd and Bud are that are that good, but you also got to give credit to the fighter that uh, he made Bud make that adjustment. He made Floyd make that adjustment. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but the thing is, if they, but, but they made him make that adjustment. But you make you make Mel make that adjustment. He's not going to be the make it within that fight. He'll do it for the next fight. He made the adjustment versus Castaño in the next fight. He didn't make the adjustment in the fight itself. Yeah, but but you're you're bringing up like one or two fights, like his whole career. But because like, that's why he's fighting the upper competition, though. He didn't. No, he fought. He, he fought uh, the the guy. All like all of his like top fights were were against good competition. He didn't have to make an adjustment against uh, against freaking Lupin. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, that's, come on. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like you're you're bringing up fights where like yeah, okay, yeah, those are obvious uh, fights where like yeah, I mean like the adjustment wasn't made or. Or, or the other fighter just didn't put him in that position to make that adjustment. I mean, oh, that, I, you, you got to give, give me, you got, you gotta give up, me an example where he had to make an in-fight adjustment, bro. And that's what I'm saying. I would have to think about that one, but uh, I just think I, I don't totally disagree with you, but I do agree with you. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, if you find a fight where he made him in find adjustment, let me know so I can go back and watch rewatch it so I can. I'll look uh, at it. I'll look at his box trick uh, uh, in a minute, and I'll see if I can if I can remember one of the fights. Cool. I can dig it. That's a big ass sandwich Mark was making, getting, huh? Yeah, man. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So this weekend, who we got? Wait, what's this weekend coming up? Let's look and see. Uh, the twenty fourth, I think. Box slide. Hold up. I'm gonna tell you right now. Does it Roly and, and Pitbull get down? No, that's the weekend. The next weekend. Ah, uh, okay. That's the 30th. 
Okie dokie. We got the other Zapata versus Smith. Okay, yeah, that one's gonna be what. <laughs> I'm still gonna watch it, bro. I'm still gonna root for Zapata, but still, you know. You oh, know, we got we got Harper Dalton and Ryan. Smith. Is it Dalton Smith? I think it is. Yep, it's Dalton Smith. Yeah, that's gonna be a good fight. I like him at 140. I don't even think it's gonna be a good fight, to be honest, Shelton. But I'm still gonna watch it. But, you know the undercard on it. I'm looking at the. You know I watch the ladies though. Harrison versus Harper. That's the fight I'm gonna look. will be watching. Terry Harper. Oh yeah. Have at it, man. Have at it, Ellis. Have at it. Yeah, I like the I like the ladies' fights, man. I, ain't gonna I like it. Alicia, but that's it. She even frustrates frustrates me. Excuse me. Oh Oscar man, Lopez. did you hear? You guys hear? Did you hear Clarissa Shields rap? Nah. No. Yeah, she needs to stick to boxing, man. <laughs> I, I, no thanks. I didn't even hear Ryan, but I'm a Ryan fan. Fuck that. Lead rapper, lead rapper to the rappers. Oh, ne- well, then the big fight next week is Oscar Valdez and Wilson. Oh, that's the one I'm Ian looking Wilson. forward to, man. That one's intriguing. That's no, no, that's, no, that's fight, on bro. Friday. No, it's not. That's Friday. That, that, that's Friday the 29th. That's the day before Thurman. And, and that's for a title, too, fight? I think. Some no name guy you never heard of? No, the guy that uh, uh, mm-hmm. almost knocked out uh, um, Navarrete. Almost. What happened? Almost. Yeah, you, you don't watch the fight though. Navarrete was the fight. You know what? You know what I say about almost, right, Carol? What? No, no. I'm saying it's like it's a yeah. That's it. Like, like, the horse he, a he got no, his ass whooped. No, no. Oh, he got his ass whooped. He got knocked out. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be. Did y'all know that Maxi Hughes got deported before this fight? Yeah, I know. I heard about that today. What? What happened? He got deported. He got sent back. He had a visa issue. Oh, yeah. No, that happens in boxing all the time, man. Shit. That sucks for him. It sucks. So he has some, no wonder why he was actual, yes. Yes. Man, he, he sucks, man. That's what I'm t- man, I try to tell everybody. It wasn't, it wasn't going to help him. He could have been over here for a month. <laughs> he don't suck. Yeah, it wasn't going to help him, bro. That's what I was trying to mark about the Engano AJ fight. I tried to tell him, save your money. Oh, bro. come on, man. Anybody who thought. And Gano had a shot in hell in that fight with smoking crack. <laughs> no, Mark was going for the odds, though. Mark was going for the odds. It wasn't a bad bet. Well, you know what? There was some. Oh, oh we we got. Oh, there's a fight tonight. Dillian White. Oh, yeah, right. White's 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 People throw uppercuts, and the magnetic forces of the earth just push his head towards the uppercut. <laughs> yeah, nah, he's always been a sucker for the uppercut, man. Yeah, I don't like the heavyweights too much, man. Fuck the heavyweights. He shouldn't even be fighting. He got his little seven, eight million dollars from Tyson Fury. He shouldn't even be fighting no more. He should be living. Chilling. He should be chilling for That's the dude that didn't take a step aside. That's the dude that didn't take a step aside. He took. He went. He took him to court. Yeah, he's gonna so be the new Billy Ray. I mean, he's gonna be the new uh, Dirty Shore. There it is. Yeah, I for you. I'm I think he already is, to be honest. <laughs> and I like Del Boy. Actually, that's one of the heavyweights I like. Del Boy. I like him. Yeah, Del Boy got this as well. Yep. All right. All he's right, getting two, three, four million dollars a fight to get his ass whooped. Hey, is either one of you guys buying the Thurman and Zoo fight? What happened? Is either one of course I'm buying it. Zula, of Harris course Harris. I'm buying it. Of course. That's a, that's a of course. course. You gotta buy that fight. I gotta see if Thurman gets knocked out. True. I just, I mean, it's the best opponent. Know. I just want to see what, what Keith has left and I want to see what Tim can do. I want to see if Tim is what they say he is. Because if yeah, Tim is what they say exactly. he is, he should knock Thurman the fuck out if he's what they say yeah. he is. I, well, agree. I think I agree. he's gonna win regardless. But this is the oh, thing. I, no, 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 no. Even if I get that. I get, I get that. But what I'm saying is, if Tim Zoo is the killer that they say he is, mm-hmm. Thurman should make it past one set. Yeah, no, I agree. And, and, and the thing is, though, if he doesn't, that doesn't for me this necessarily means that he's not going to be a good fighter. I just, it's, just, it's just gonna reinforce the notion that that he's not just not ready yet for that time. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Never start, Shelton, so you know, man, we, we, we the, you got to show us people. You said, what did you say, Grandma? Hold on, Grandma. What did you say? 
what did you say? say that if, oh, how are we going to say if he don't stop Thurman that he's not ready when Thurman's never been stopped before? Hey, I think if he, hey, if he check, wins check this out, bro. You're not understanding, bro, but go ahead, Shelton. Check this out, bro. Arrow had never been stopped either, had he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Correct. Hey, bro. Porter had never been stopped either, had he? Correct. If you are what they say you are, then you stop dudes who ain't fought in two years. You stop them. Oh. Hey, yeah, listen, you don't remember Denny Green's me. famous speech, bro? Yeah, the way you said that, you shut me right on up. All right. <laughs> Good job. But if you're not what they say you are, this dude goes 12 rounds, but you are possibly beat you. Mm. Yeah. Now you're going to hold it against him because Keith is a good fighter, you know? Lie. So, on the 30th, we will find out exactly what Tim Zoo is. Exactly. Is he a good fighter? We already know, what, well, we already know what one time is. You know, we don't. We know what we got with him. He's a former champion. Exactly. You the fight actually champion. a title off of a fucking dude. You know, not just and only him. got one loss. And he lost uh, to arguably to one of the greatest fighters of this generation, arguably. So, but I, uh, yeah, I understand you 100 though, because like they, Tim, yeah. they say like he's like like the, like number one pop per pound. That's how they describe him. They saying he's this and he's that. Okay, let's see. And I like him. I think he fights well, but I mean, come on. And it's the same argument, bro. I give the boots people right. Boots looks great. He looks like he is next up against the guys he's been fighting. <laughs> We don't know what he is until you put him in there with guys who can actually fucking fight. Then we'll find out what he is. Then we'll find out what he is. Against guys who can crack back. Yeah. yeah so that's what intrigues me about the fight. That's what intrigues me. Yeah, and like, well, like me and Pure always say, you can't just tell me this guy is this and that. You can't just yeah, tell me that. Bro. I want to see it. Show me. Beat that you know, guy. You know who? You know what? Who's in the same position as Boot? He's so much younger and got so much more career ahead of him. Ben Whitaker, mm -hmm. same thing. Ben Whitaker. Ben yeah. Whitaker. He got it. Looks great. Against them forklift drivers, he fighting. You're right, right. Mm -hmm. I, I, it is I, I what say, it is. People say I hate Walter, but I want Walter's resume. You know what I mean? In his first twenty. I want Walter's fights, money. I want his resume. Yeah, who wouldn't want sixty-five million dollars? He beat me. <laughs> who wouldn't want? Listen, listen no. to me. Who wouldn't want? Who wouldn't want sixty-five million dollars in, in your whole career? You only fought two good fighters. Thank you, I'm on Deontay Waters' box break. He beat me in his yeah. third fight. You fought motherfucking Tyson Fury, and you fought motherfucking Joseph Parker, and both of the good fighters you fought beat you. <laughs> well, Luis Ortiz is a pretty decent. Look, you cannot tell me that Luis Ortiz is a boogeyman or a killer or people is voiding him when the best win on his resume is Brian Jennings, who everybody beats. Yeah, you can't sell me on that. You can't sell me on that, bro. Easy work. You can't sell me on that. How is somebody Charles, afraid of this dude? Charles, Charles and this dude Martin ain't beat best. nobody better than Brian Jennings. Ain't nobody no, scared of that dude. No, Charles Martin is Yo. Salute, salute. salute. Hockey sucks. He beat Charles yeah, Martin. Fuck you, Puro. <laughs> yeah, Charles Martin is his best win. Puro, you get to talk to me again tonight Brent. on your second panel. Oh, Brent. I'm so lucky. Nobody's afraid of motherfuckers that got beat that beat Charles Martin, bro. If Charles no, Martin bro, is your you, best you win, can't. nobody's afraid of you. You can't Nobody's even make an argument for Wilder's resume being good, man. I mean, come on, he's got a. Sh Everyone knows he's got a shit resume. Um, Bro, he didn't fight nobody in the top in the top fifty till his thirtieth fight. Exactly, Luis Ortiz. I mean, he was fighting guys like Dominic Brazil and like. <laughs> I mean, no, that was way. No, no, that was deep in his thirties, though. Yeah, exactly. I mean, That's what I'm him. saying. Well, hold on, like, hold on, don't leave him out. Who the fuck is Luis Ortiz? He ain't never beat nobody. 
Yeah, exactly. It's and, and Luis Ortiz was beating him too. Like he needed a late uh a late stoppage to beat Ortiz. Oh yeah, and fucking uh Bermain Stavern fucking took him the distance. Uh, that guy should had no business Bermain Stavern had no business holding a fucking title and he went the distance with him. It's like <laughs> Yeah, man. It's, it's hilarious. Yeah, that's the only problem you have sometimes with these fight fans. They be anointing these dudes and they ain't done shit yet. Well, it's just fanboys, right? You know what I'm saying? It's just fanboys who don't who don't really know too much about boxing. Yeah. You trying to tell me this dude's the second coming of this, that, and the third? This dude ain't fought shit. They just they, <laughs> they just see they they just see Wilder land like some huge haymaker and they think he's Mike Tyson or something like that. It's it's just people who don't know much about boxing. That's his main his main fan base, and like the dude can't even sell tickets either. I mean, he'd be Wilder was was having fights in Alabama, and they they'd be like giving out free tickets at the gas station. Like it's <laughs> the guy's not even a draw either. So well, you gotta remember back then he was doing those fights. He was fighting Leroy coming off the cracker. <laughs> Yo, they said 19 of his first 39 opponents wouldn't even ranked at all. Of course not. There's video of him getting knocked down by like some, some like six foot tall, like 300 pound dude. There, there's a video of him fighting like this short little fat dude who knocks him into the ropes. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I don't, well, see, I don't know how, really I don't bad, know how he managed to. I don't know how he managed to win a bronze medal. I mean, it's kind of. I don't know. I don't even well, know how he managed to do that. It was amateur boxing. He probably was good as an amateur boxer. He's tall. He's long. He could score points. He probably was good at that. Yeah. But the thing is, you can't be mad at them uh, crafting his career because coming up, when you turn pro, you go fight a bunch of tomato cans, a bunch of bombs. That's what they do. They want to get yeah. you in there as often as they can with different styles so you can learn styles. The problem was... They continued to do that. Once he built a name and got on Showbox, they kept feeding him cans because they saw he had knockout power. So he kept knocking out all these bums. Just knocking them out. Yeah. He built his name. Built his name. Yeah. Built his name. And they got I feel like shot. I feel like the, the, the main they thing that you work. can I feel I feel like the main thing that we can appreciate Wilder for is for making Tyson Fury a, a star. <laughs> That's pretty much the only thing. Is that's the only thing he's really now, done? What I, is what I for, popular. What I give credit for is this: you got to you got to be honest now as a boxing fan. We all know that by the time a motherfucker becomes a champion, usually they've been boxing in excess of fifteen to twenty years. Am I right? Sorry, I missed what you said. I said usually when a motherfucker becomes a champion in any division. The person that becomes a champion has probably been boxing for about 15, 20 years. Right? Yeah. They've been boxing since they were five, six, seven years old. Yeah. Wilder started boxing when he was 20. Right. 20 years old. And by the time he was 30, he was the heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah. That will I probably mean, but... never be done again. That will never be matched. Yeah, but at, well, the, same, at, no the, same time, at the same time, though, when you when you it take into 20, account the 19, context, 20 years old, I mean, to be he fair, though, medal, he was twenty years old. Yeah, you can give him credit for winning the title, but at the same time, the only reason he got the title is because Vitaly Klitschko retired, and then they and then Chris and then Ariola and Bermain Stavern fought for the vacant title. And then Wilder beats Stavern. So it's like, yeah, he was the heavyweight champion, but like, it's not like he beat, it's not like he beat some reigning champion in some no, but, great see, fight. But, here's the thing. but this is the thing that people forget. Wilder never got into this shit to be champion. Right. Yeah. He yeah. Never got into boxing I understand. Anything. I know what you're saying. I know he got into boxing because his daughter was sick. So what he did with his limited ability and made. And that worth seventy million dollars. I, I can't. I can't hate on that at all. Now, I can hate on people telling me that he's the next best thing since Muhammad Ali because that's just bullshit. <clears throat> I can hate on that. 
Well, you, even <laughs> calling him a, you, even people calling him a great champion or, or one yeah, of the I best heavyweights, that that's, that's still a huge reach. Yeah. Yeah, I can hit on that yeah, too. I'm, that's good. I'm, I'm looking, yeah. I'm looking at his first thirty times. Did. Like, check this out. Check this out. And what he did yeah, that first thing. You can't handle it. Out. His first opponent that was inside the top 50 was his 29th fight against uh, uh, Likovich, which was ranked 43rd, right? Sergey Likovich, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like his first opponent in the top 50. His first opponent in the top 20 was Bermain Stover. Yeah. And and then after that, he didn't fight another fighter in the top top 20 until he (laughs) got to. (laughs) <laughs> until he got to until he got to Ortiz. That's funny. Wouldn't you love to have that resume? Wouldn't you love to make all that money for, for the least amount of work? Well, yeah, obviously. That That's the no, goal, but, right? but 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 this it's two different things saying, well, if you were in his shoes, would you do that? Yeah, obviously. But when we when we take when we look at him and compare him to the other heavyweight champions, right? I mean, it's just yeah, this is a different perspective. But see, here's the thing. This is what's so sad about today. This is what's so sad about today. No matter what we say, we know boxing. We've been watching boxing. Me since the 60s, you probably since the 70s or the 80s. We've been watching boxing a long time. But we know that with them 10 title defenses and the 43 and 2 record, this motherfucker probably getting in the Hall of Fame. No, no. There's no he's way to put him in the Hall of Fame. He's going to get in. He is going to the Hall of Fame because of the 10 title defense. Even uh, there's no him. way, man. There's no yeah. way. Is George Foreman in the Hall of Fame? Is George Foreman Bro. in the Hall of Fame? Right. George uh, Foreman ain't got 10 title defenses. Yeah, but his career... Okay, but it's Joe not Bush just based on... It's not defense. just based on title defenses, though. I mean... I'm telling you what they're looking at now. I'm not talking about what we're looking at. I'm telling you what these dudes are looking at. Right, that's what they go off of. Okay, yeah. yeah the but but but, but here's the thing, though. But but here's the thing. It's it's not. I feel like they're kind of biased for American fighters. Because do you guys remember? Do you guys remember Darius Mikulchevsky? Do you guys remember him? Yeah, I remember Mikulchevsky. Yeah. Yeah, he's not in the Hall of Fame. They're not putting him there. And he's I'm got. You one and, and he's got. He's got way more than ten defenses. What what has he got? Like. I want to say 15. I think he's got, I mean, uh, and they're not putting him in the Hall of Fame because he's a European. And they're going to put Wilder what, in the Hall of what, Fame? Like, that's what, just a what joke. What weight class was he in? What weight class was uh, he in? 168. Heavyweights is yeah. always more glorified. Yeah, he fought. Uh, I'm he's just fought saying, I know. If, if that's maybe Arthur what Abraham they think, all those yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying if we're looking at it from an objective basis, um, um, Mikkel Chefsky should have been in the Hall of Fame before... I mean, they got okay, Arturo. God, they got Arturo Gotti in the Hall of Fame. Let me ask you this. Over, over let me ask you this. Should Simon Brown be in the Hall of Fame? Are you asking Based me? On what they doing now? Yeah, I'm asking. You. Should Simon Brown be in the Hall of Fame? Uh, I don't know. Three division world champion. Yeah, it's it's just it's not very uh, consistent the way he's they not apply in. The... He's not in, but fucking Arturo Gotti's in. Yeah, yeah, that don't make no sense. Yeah, exactly. It's not it's not very consistent the way they yeah. apply it. Arturo Gotti couldn't hold Simon Brown's jock strap, <laughs> but he's in. Is uh, do they have because Calzaghi in the Hall of Fame? Of course he did. He's forty nine and zero. Well, I'm not. I haven't. I don't keep up with it very closely. I'm just asking. Yeah, he did. He's. But you know, Simon Brown did lose every big step up fight, though. Simon Brown won world titles in three different divisions. He did. did Arturo Gotti do that? Hell no. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They and don't. he actually took the straps. And Simon Brown actually took the straps off actual champions. He did. He did. Because he took it off of Jorge uh, doing this. I remember that. He took it off of him. Um, that was for welterweight. I'm trying to remember what else I can remember. I can't remember anything else. Hold he up. took it off oh. of Buddy McGirt, too. Oh, he, he beat Buddy McGirt? Oh, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, he beat Buddy McGirt. 
is um is Sven no, Aki in the Hall of Fame? You talking about he lost Sven Aki? Yeah, Sven Aki. He's bro, in, he lost okay. the Buddy McGurk, bro. Mm-hmm. He lost the Buddy McGurk. They fought twice, bro. <laughs> they fought just once. You know what? The first time I think it was before my before my time. That's why. Hold on, let me yeah. see. Yeah, they fought twice. I want to box work right now. Hold on, where did he fight him twice at? I don't see them fighting twice. He fought twice. They fought for him. He fought him. They fought for him. They fought him. He fought him. He fought him in '91. That's the only time he fought him. You you looking at the box right? I'm at box right right now. He only fought him once. Oh, okay. He lost to uh, Buddy, right? Yeah, he lost a unanimous decision. And Buddy took the title off of him, or he took the title off of Buddy. Buddy took the title off of him. Off of him. He won the title off of Maurice Blocker. Maurice Blocker. Well, he won one of the titles. He beat Tyrone Tice to get the IBF the world to mm-hmm. no. Let me see. No, 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 no. He won the IBF world to weight title from. Hold up, because he had it for a while. Hold up. So he took it from. He got the vacant yeah. title from Tyrone Tice. Then he beat Jorge Duenas. Then Martellini. Then Jorge Masonet. Then Al Long. Then Bobby Joe Young. Then Luis Santana. Then he fought Tyrone Tice again. Then he fought Ozzy O'Neill. Then Maurice Blocker to take the WBC. That's where he unified. And he had two belts then. And then he lost the Buddy McGurk. You name everything? Shit. How you gonna come in and do all this bull corn? Go eat your sandwich. Man, <laughs> shit. I've been talking to y'all in the back. Yeah. Got to wrap he knocked out Terry Norris, too, though. I ain't telling y'all to wrap yeah, it look, up. Look, 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 look,